Okay, I should be live. Good morning, everyone. How are you guys? I am really excited to be streaming today. I know it's been a while, but it's only because I've been working on a lot of art projects, like a lot. I'm, I'm like surprised at how many I'm working on right now, um, which I'll probably show you guys later on during the stream. I am ready to go. I, it's cold in my room, so I have a blanket. I don't know why it's super cold in my room. It's always like that, especially in the morning. Don't know why. And then I woke up with like, how do I say this? Like allergies. So <laughs> it's been an interesting morning. Very, very interesting. Um, let's see who's in the chat. I'm going to scroll back up. Yeah, here. Hello. Bread, stars, supernova, deadly plants, three, Matthews, Lopez, uh, Kibunk. Hello, Sergio. Hello, Jeremy. Yo, what's up, Jeremy? Um, Carter Nitro, Sloan, hello, Not Real Buddy, Kiyoshi, Chris, uh, Agent, hello, Mr. CJ Lewis, good morning. Dude, it's so early. <laughs> well, like, considering that a lot of people nowadays don't wake up at, like, you know, like, seven. Um, <laughs> hello, hello, how are you guys? How are you guys doing? I know it's been a while since we've, uh, streamed. Let me know if the audio is good, if it's too loud. Maybe it's too loud, actually. Let me, like, lower that. <laughs> Let me probably blow out everyone's ears. Um, let me know how everything is. Fantasy Thinker, hello, Juan, hello, Daniel Davis. Um, how are you guys? Good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday. Um, and I honestly have been so busy that I haven't even played the Animal Crossing Museum event. So if I do stream again, that will probably be what we'll be doing next time. Um, but we'll see. Uh, Super Nintendo guy, hello! I'm doing really, really well. Uh, if you guys are joining us today, or if you want to join us, um, and if you have a printer, uh, I do have the free print out of, uh, Origami Princess Peach down below in the description. Um, so if you want to join us today, <laughs> feel free to go ahead and print it out. Um, I really suggest, though, that you have, um, uh, cardstock. If you can print it out on cardstock, that would be like perfect. If not, it's going to be really flimsy. Um, another thing that you can do if you aren't joining us today. Um, so like this paper that I'm using <laughs> is really high quality, high, too high quality to the point where it's for photos. So if I were to bend this paper, um, it won't look nice. Uh, it's hard to explain. Like if I bend it, then you'll see like the white lining. Like it'll break the surface of the ink. So um, what I'll be using for this for specifically is making a pattern out of the colored paper paper that we have here. Um, so several options. You can print it out um, and then just use the patterns itself. But again, I suggest that you use cardstock if you can print it out on cardstock. If not, you can use this as a pattern. So. Yes, free, down below in the description. So if you want to join us, um, please, by all means, feel free to do so. If you printed it out and you got lost, um, because my tutorials suck, honestly, <laughs> let me know. This is the perfect time to join in and um, pick up where you left off. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to do this Nintendo Why, Dude, this is going to be live. I'm so, I'm so excited, so excited. Um, I hope Paper Luigi has a part in Paper Mario. Jatoons. Yes. Absolutely agree. Dude, if they have Luigi in there, I'm going to be so freaking happy. Um, you don't... Savvy the gamer, I don't have the right paper. Yeah, so let's say you don't have the right paper. You printed this out. Don't even worry. You can use this as a template as a pattern. So that's why it's really good. And I and I actually listed this down below in the description. I listed a pack of cardstock. Um, and I tried to get one that I that I'm like aware of that I like actually used um, before. So I think it's pretty good. Again, I think it comes with 20 colors. It's not this specific one. It's not this exact one, but I listed one down below in the description. Um, so if you want to join in uh, and then like if you get lost at least you can watch this video or you can actually watch the actual DIY and intent DIY on my channel 
Um, so yeah, all the materials are listed down below. Let me know if anyone's joining me today, because that'd be so freaking awesome. I'll give you guys time to print it out before we before we jump in. <laughs> um, when's the next Animal Crossing stream? Is what I'm assuming you're trying to say. Um, that will probably be. Ooh, so tomorrow I'm doing a couple of errands. I want to say Thursday, Friday is when I'm going to try to stream again, if I can get all the DIYs done. So that would be really, really cool. Um, are you going to make more Paper Mario, the Origami King figurine figures? Yes. Uh, let me grab those for you guys. So yeah, it's cold in my room, so that's why I have a blanket. <laughs> These are the ones that I made so far. Um, and I definitely, did I make any more? <laughs> I don't know if I made any more. Oh, I should probably, okay, can I, okay, well, I'll show you guys later. Well, my brain is like grinning in circles right now. Um, okay, so this is what we're making today. Boom. Cuteness, adorable, look at that, cute. Um, I have made the other characters, Olivia, right? That's the other one. And then her brother. So I'm going to do her brother first. There's her brother. Pretty cool. He's very scary. And then he got Olivia here with her arms. They're so cute. So um, let me know if you guys want me to make patterns for these two. If I do make these, I probably will include them in the same video. Um, but let me know. And then this is so easy. I mean, you just cut it out and print it out. So <laughs> nothing, nothing too crazy there. Um, I'm going to actually put this, this I can put this over here as decor. There you go. Boom. Um, yeah, I'll make more. I'll make more if you guys want that type of content. I don't know. It's totally up to you guys. I'll make whatever you guys are down to want to make. Um, as for other Nintendo DIYs, that are coming very soon let me show you um because i'm really excited for it like super excited for these okay so um let's see i want to choose a good one ah. i'm making like several like it's a lot uh this one this one this one and this one i'm at the stage where i just have to edit the videos <laughs> I so these are three DIYs that I've been making. Um, yay, Calvin! Yes, I am wearing. I was just like, what am I going to wear today? And I was like, dude, I got to wear Calvin's tank top. So yes, Calvin, by the way, got me this tank top off of my Amazon wish list. Look how awesome that is. Super funny. I thought it was perfect. So um, thank you, Calvin, for giving me this tank top. First thing I thought of was just like, what am I going to wear today? Got to wear the Super Mario tank top. Um, okay, so <laughs> um, we'll be making several DIYs. Where's the other one? There. Okay, so the first DIY that I want to show you guys, the will probably the, be the first video that comes out, I guess. I'm not entirely sure, but there you go. Animal Crossing bottle. Boom. Life-sized Animal Crossing bottle. And I got the right bottle too because I've been trying to look for this exact shape. So this is the bottle. Um, not only that, um, you can make a life-size version. You can make a keychain. Boom. Look how cute that is, the keychain version. Or you can make a necklace, earring, whatever you want to put that on. <laughs> so those will be coming very soon. The next DIYs are the Animal Crossing bags. So you got the medicine bag. Everyone should be familiar with this. <laughs> Everyone. Um, then you got the, the fish bait from Animal Crossing. Boom, fish bait bag, cuteness. Um, and like, like I always say, um, if you are at all interested in making Nintendo DIYs, I list all the materials down below in the description. Um, so you can check out all the other DIYs. Um, on my channel and then of course Nook's bag so boom there you go pretty pretty cool so that's what two <laughs> two out of three um let me know what Jay thinks of the oh yeah no definitely for sure we're gonna be wearing those 
Fantasy Thinker, this looks cool. Oh, thank you, Daniel Davis. Yo, what's up? Thank you. Yeah, Calvin. Calvin got me this, uh, the tank top. Walter Lewis, what's up? Okay, and then the last one that I'm really excited for, that I think a lot more people will like, I guess. I don't know. It it depends if you like um, the bugs. But the last DIY is the shadow box for all the bugs. And I added, like, a couple of gems. I added some glitter. I added, like, a lot of things to make it look realistic. So, it's cool because, like, if you look at the Atlas moth, um, those are actually feathers. <laughs> those are orange feathers that I used. So, this is coming very soon. Pretty cool. You guys can have a lot of DIYs that you guys can make at home. So, this is one of my favorite ones. It takes a long time, though. Like, this one takes a pretty decent amount of time. But it's really easy, to, like, really easy to make. And these aren't real bugs. I just want to state that. These, these aren't real. Um, <laughs> no bugs were harmed in the making of this Nintendo DIY. <laughs> just so you guys know. Um, okay, so I'm going to put that down. Um, and by the way, I've made... Okay, let me see. I'm not going to grab them all. Am I going to grab them all? I should just grab them all. Okay, so I've made like a ton of these necklaces because they were super cheap. So I'm thinking of like giving these away <laughs> for you guys because I think it would be so awesome if I gave these away to you guys. Okay, so I made a ton of these bottles and they have like glitter and stuff inside, which is really cool. So this one has glitter. Focus. This one has glitter in it. Um, this one has blue gems. So I made, I made like a ton of these. Um, this one has diamonds in the back. As you can see. So I'm thinking of giving these guys, these things away to you guys. Um, I'll probably give away like 10 or 20. Um, so I'll probably like post that in like another stream. Uh, so let me know if you guys are interested in that. <laughs> you guys can make it into like earrings and whatever else. Um, yeah, so I'll be giving those away in the next stream. Uh, we, Jay and I are coming out with merchandise. We're coming out with an Nintendo DIY merchandise. We're coming out with Amiibos and Migals. I think you guys saw some of those options down below in the video. Um, and we're trying to like get into contact with, uh, the supplier just because we wanted black and not gray. <laughs> so that's coming very soon. There's a lot of things coming very soon. Um, that I'm really excited to show you guys, um, and I'll be giving those gifts away because we're close to 40,000, and I want to do a really nice giveaway for you guys. So I'm thinking a lot of Nintendo DIYs to give away and all that stuff. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm glad you guys like them. Oh, that's awesome, John. Thank you, thank you, Sergeant. What up? Um, Ugh, I am so, so excited to, like, get that started for you guys. It'll be awesome. A lot of things in the works. Been really busy, but I hope that, like, it all pays off for you guys. Okay, so, um, I'm hoping that you guys are set <laughs> if you plan on making this with me, um, because we're about to begin very, very soon. Um, so let me know if you guys need a little more time to get your materials going. Um, I do need, okay, let's see, I need scissors. What else do I need? Where's the cutting, hold on, give me a second. Where's the cutting board? Okay, and then I need glue. I just realized I don't have glue, ow. Um, I guess I can use Elmer's glue. I was using like the complete, like the worst glue that I could possibly use for arts and crafts is the absolute worst glue. I don't know why I decided to use that glue. It was the only glue that I had available at the time. Uh, so that's probably why. <laughs> but um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Um, ooh, man, my allergies are just acting. I don't know why. I woke up this morning and my allergies just hit me like a truck. Um, so I do have my cutting board here. Or not cutting board, cutting, I don't know what this is called. <laughs> I forgot what this is called. I have scissors. Um, and what else? And we have the glue. And that's all, really all you need for this DIY. Um, and I know there was like a confusing part in the video, which I'll explain. 
So that's why I kind of want to do this live too, because I know people were a little bit confused on one portion, which is like an early portion in the video. I should have clarified it, but I thought it was like obvious, but in my head it's obvious and I know it's probably not obvious for you guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's so bad. Um, Caitlin, hello, hello. Okay, so <laughs> uh, today it's just going to be me talking, no music background whatever <laughs> a lot of scissors and cutting and glue um we're about to start very very soon it is 10 08 i'll give you guys two more minutes just in case if you want to print it out again the printout sheet is down below in the description it is free don't worry it's for you guys to enjoy to make at home to keep your guys selves busy let me know if you want me to make the other characters Totally up to you guys. The other characters are really cute, but Princess Peach was like my my go-to gal. She was my go-to gal. Okay, so Brandon, hello, excited. Oh, Brandon White, what up? Oh, how you been, dude? I'm so sad that Evo <laughs> got canceled this year, but totally understandable. Um, Brandon White says excited to support the first in ten day of my live stream. Hope you and Jay are doing well. Cheers to the Zowie team. Boop, 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 boop. Guys, if you guys don't know, I am supported by Zowie. Like the screen that I'm using right now is the Zowie monitor. It is awesome, incredible. Um, absolutely love it. Thank you so much for the Zowie team for providing it. Dude, I miss you guys so so much and hope you guys are safe and well. Um, okay, so <laughs> Today we learned how to brutally torture paper into looking like what we want it to be. <laughs> okay, oh, right, I want to clarify too. So we're making origami peach. That's what everyone calls her. It's not true origami. Well, okay, so traditional origami, from what I read, <laughs> don't quote me, um, is obviously paper folding. Um, this is a combination of paper folding and paper crafts. Although I read an article where it's just like modern origami, people are a little bit more harsher when it comes to like glue or using like scissors or cutting the paper and stuff like that. I wanted to find a perfect blend between the two to where it allows Princess Peach to be three dimensional because you can see she's not flat. Like she has a little, you know, she has a little, uh, little, uh, what is that called? <laughs> little meat on her bones, I guess. Um, so she has a little uh, dimension to her. Like if you see the bang, it comes out, like all that stuff. So um, it's not true like origami, but the reason why I did that is because I wanted it to be easier, accessible to those who like aren't confident in origami. And I didn't want the video to be too lengthy and just me folding. Um, again, I want everyone to leave knowing that they can make their own Princess Peach <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Um, Caitlin, oh, you're so sweet for Donnie. Thank you so much. Did you know that there's a image of Luigi in cart? Is there really? What? Did you know that there's a image of Luigi in cart? Oh, you're right. There is Luigi. Oh, right, right. In the trailer, right? Oh, you're right. That is true. Hmm, very interesting. Do we have to use the printout sheet or the separate colored papers? So Mikey, that is totally up to what your printer um, can do. Um, if it's a really good printer and you can print on cardstock, perfect. You don't have to do anything. If not, let's say you have flimsy paper or the paper that I'm using is for photos and if you fold it, it's gonna break the seal, if that makes any sense, of the ink. So this is not good for paper crafts. So basically what I'll be using this is as a template. So you have many options. If you can print on cardstock, you don't have to do anything. That's like easiest. <laughs> That's like the easiest thing. As for me, I have to cut this out and then use this um, to make the template. <laughs> so it totally depends on what your printer can handle, what kind of printer you have, the paper that you're using, and whether or not it is like good for crafting <laughs> yeah that if that makes any sense <laughs> um okay so oh maxwell that's awesome i'm glad that everyone's having like really fun with that i always get so anxious on whether or not the tutorials make sense because in my head they make sense but i know for like the general public i'm not really good at explaining things and like <laughs> It just, in my head, it comes out bad. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyways. <laughs> so 
So we're gonna about we're about to begin because I had to actually cut this all out. I should just be cutting it out the whole time. <laughs> okay, so we're about to begin. Um, <laughs> we're going to start making Princess Peach. Of course, the first thing that you want to do is cut it out, and we're gonna go ahead and cut out the pattern real quick. I again have to. Um, I might hit the like the actual like camera, so just be aware of that. There's a camera scene right here. <laughs> if you guys don't know um but yeah yeah it's pretty it's pretty interesting okay so we're gonna go ahead um will you upload the other tutorials of the other characters if you guys want me to totally up to you guys like i would love to i'm gonna fix this because this is like not angled correctly okay um totally up to you guys i am down to um i'm down to upload the other characters it's just that I don't know if you guys would want to constantly have that content <laughs> up in your own face. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys really want to, I definitely will. I do have the other character. What did I do with them? I do have the other characters somewhere. <laughs> somewhere here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I definitely will. It's totally up to you guys. Dude, is this camera not angled? Okay, there you go. So you guys can see a little bit of the desk too, because I probably will be working here in this general area. Um, oh, I should have listed the, my printer down below. Right. Um, so my printer, my printer is actually really expensive, and I would not suggest it to the general public just because, again, it's expensive. The ink is expensive and the paper is expensive. It's only because I make prints. I make box art for Amiibos like I need high quality images so it's a really darn good printer but it's on the expensive side um it is a canon printer what what I don't know what um <laughs> I don't know what type or version but yeah it's I just wouldn't recommend it just because it's so expensive but I'll list it later down in the description when this when the stream uploads uh, so check later on when the stream uploads after the stream. I'll list it. It's up to you guys if you want to get it. I suggest that like there's other printers that we can possibly use, but it's a good printer. Like it's not a bad printer. It's just really expensive. Um, Edwin, here we go. Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the printout sheet. Um, I have the cutter right here just in case I need to cut. So the first thing we want to do is of course cut out the the patterns. We're going to count the patterns um, that we got off of the uh, digital sheet down below. Again, if you want to join in, go ahead. The pattern is in the description and it is free, completely free. I wanted to make this live for you guys because I, I again, always feel so bad. Like I'm like, did the DIY make any sense for you guys at all? I'm not, I'm never sure. <laughs> and I want to make sure that you guys can at least end up, especially in quarantine, since you have nothing to do. Okay, I'm just going to cut this out because it's a struggle. Um, especially in quarantine when um, I know you guys are looking for stuff to do. So I want to make sure that you guys end up with a Princess Peach. Um, and this is the confusing piece that was in the video. But this is in the video. Um, it's just that later on I decided to make the triangles because it allows her side dress pieces to sit better. Um, yeah. Blake the Nerd, yo, what's up? How you doing, Blake? It's been a while. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cut these pieces out. So anything that's gray on the printout sheet, that is what you're going to be cutting out. Um, and again, if you printed this, this out on cardstock, um, even better. I probably could use this paper, but I know it's going to break the seal, if that makes any sense. So I like don't, <laughs> I don't recommend using um, certain types of paper. This one particularly, like if I printed it out on the right paper, I could just jump in and start folding, but we're going to actually make these um, into patterns. So again, if you don't have the right paper, I did list um, cardstock down below that comes in various colors. Okay, so that's one. <laughs> um, 
I saw your go to peach on Nintendo fan sites, dude. This is awesome. Maxwell, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, it was so crazy. I like made this in a day. So I think, okay, so what happened? I made this in a day um, and I posted it and then I realized like a lot of people wanted to make it. And especially, it makes sense because especially since we're all indoors anyways. So I was just like, oh, you know, I'm going to make a pattern of this. And then I think the next day I had the pattern in the video up. So very, very quick. It was very, very quick. Okay, so I'm going to cut out the rest of the pieces. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's on. I don't like that. Where's my scissors? Or X-Acto. I could use an X-Acto. <laughs> but I'm so scared of using an X-Acto around you guys because um, the way I use an X-Acto is not safe. I'm like the worst when it comes to safety. So if you guys end up using an exacto, please be careful. Don't do what I do. <laughs> Cause I'm so, I'm so bad at it. Um, okay, so we're gonna cut out the other pieces. So I have the other pieces here. Um, I'm just gonna like cut them like this. So you guys can see them. Let me know if you guys made this DIY. If you guys made this Nintendo DIY, please, please post it on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Send me a picture and hashtag it. Hashtag it. Wow. <laughs> it's early morning. Okay. If you make this Nintendo DIY, Princess Peach Origami, hashtag it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, hashtag Nintendo DIY, uh, and I'll see it and I'll share it. I think someone someone made it already and they shared it on Twitter and I retweeted it because it was so awesome. It was so cool to see that. Um, okay, so we're gonna cut this out. We're cutting all the pieces out basically. That's what we're doing. So if you are joining us today in the Nintendo DIY, we're cutting out all the pieces. Um, if it's a piece, if it's a type of paper that you can work with, then all you have to do is cut it out. As for me, I have to actually cut it out on the cardstock. Um, so let me know if you guys are joining in or if you've already made this. And if you have, show me a picture. I want to see it. Send me a picture on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I will share it with the rest of the me bros because I know all of you guys love to share your creative um, crafting skills. So I would love, love to see it. Okay. So here we're cutting out all the pictures. <laughs> the, we're all cutting out all the patterns. I know it looks really weird right now, but it's only because it makes it easier for me to cut out. I'm going to attempt to make a Paper Mario town with little structures and rivers and stuff or characters I printed out. That's so, so cool. Again, sh send pictures to me. Any Nintendo DIY. It doesn't have to be Princess Peach um, origami. I love to see how creative you guys can get. Okay, so we're cutting out all the pieces. Let me know if you guys are joining in or if you plan on making it later, later on, let me know. Boom. So, <laughs> this looks absolutely horrendous right now, but I promise that this is just the first steps. <laughs> I do not cut things like this on a regular. It's just that um, in order for me to cut it on the screen, it has to be a lot smaller. I think you need to end up with 14, 14 different types of patterns, if that makes any sense. Like I'm not counting these individually, but 14 patterns in general. Um, so. Wizzy Tech, oh, you're so sweet. You're so freaking sweet, okay. Man, dude, my allergies are messing me up right now, though. Like, I don't know why I woke up with allergies. So, it's been a very interesting morning. Okay, so as you can see, I'm cutting these out. These aren't the perfect squares, but you'll see why later on, because we're going to trim them anyways. Okay. So, cut out your patterns. Please be very, very careful. Um, if you're using scissors or even the X-Acto, they're just, I've hurt myself so many times with the X-Acto. It's so bad. Um, and it's so funny when Jason watches me handle the X-Acto because he like gets so, uh, he gets so anxious because the way I handle the X-Acto is like, it's, it's pretty terrible. Don't do what I do. <laughs> um, Akira, hello. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Okay. So. 
We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this out. Very, very simple Nintendo DIY. I promise you, it's really not that hard. Um, if it's really hard, it's only because I didn't explain it well. <laughs> That's how I, I perceive it. Okay, so we're gonna cut this all out. Give me a second. So again, if you wanna join in, by all means, feel free to do so. The pattern is down below in the description. It is free for you to download and use if you wanna make it with your family and or friends in anticipation for the release, which is on July 17th. Have you guys pre-ordered this already? Let me know. I definitely will be streaming this, like for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, there's another one, okay. <laughs> I'd make Origami Peach, but I would need a lot of skills and see how it's done by others first. Oh yeah, of course, Julayla? Julayla, right? Did I say that right? Um, yeah, totally understandable. Uh, I wanted, well, this is the reason why I'm doing it too is because I am not very confident in my explanation skills. <laughs> so I really wanted to make sure that I like explain this at least very well. So right now we're just cutting these out. I could probably make the Princess Peach out of this paper, but I'm gonna still cut, use these as patterns. I don't think I'm gonna actually fold these ones. So I'm just gonna put those aside. Okay, so this is the crown, of course. There's there's actually a lot of folding in this DIY, um, but it's really easy. Generally, it's like down the middle. It's like so easy. It's nothing like too crazy. Oh gosh, okay. Boom. Not too bad, right? <laughs> you played Animal Crossing for 95 hours? Jeez. Good on you, dude. That's that's awesome. How many hours do you have in total? Let me know. How many hours do you guys have in Animal Crossing? I know that I passed 300 early on. Like, I'm definitely past 300. Although, I'm going to be honest, again, I slowed down playing Animal Crossing just because I've been working on DIYs the entire time, like the entire time. It's so crazy. Okay, so boom, done. Moving on. This is her hands. And there's a trick at the end that I will show you that a lot of people um, don't know about when it comes to making Princess Peach. Um, if you saw the video, you already know what it is. If you didn't, then I'll let you know. Um, this is her hand. Then here's her eyes. So we're gonna make her eyes real quick. Cut that out. Cutting out her eyes, boom. I can probably use her eyes though. Like, I can use this. This I can use. So I'm gonna save that. <laughs> the rest of the pieces, I don't think so. At least we don't have to cut out the eyes. At least they're actually pretty good. This is pretty relaxing. This is like ASMR, kind of. <laughs> 355 hours, 210. Yo, that is crazy. Okay, um, so we're going to cut out her bangs. This is her bangs right now. This is the front bangs. And keep in mind, like, this is my way of making Princess Peach, if you come up with a better way or pattern or whatever, or place a certain piece, that is totally up to you by all means. Um, I want you guys to just use this as like a template and then the rest is up to you. You know, you do whatever you want to do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Okay, boom, done. Wow, we're ending up with like a ton of scraps. Okay, so next one we have two of these pieces. These are the side pieces on the dress. So 
So we're going to cut these out real quick. I wish I had like a really good mic so I can come up close to like the scissors cutting. <laughs> I can imagine a lot of people would be interested in the ASMR <laughs> of uh, DIYs. Okay, so this is her head. And her head looks so weird, but I'm telling you, um, I only made it this way just so that it adds, uh, I guess, like stability when it comes to adding the rest of her hair and stuff. So it looks weird right now, but it's actually gonna, it's a perfect size for her head. I tried to, I tried to make her as proportionally accurate as possible. So how did you design this template? I, okay, so it was trial and error. I've actually made two Princess Peaches. Um, the one that you see here is the second version, and this is the best version, just because she's proportionally correct. Her eyes and, like, her hands and just everything about her is, like, my favorite, like, proportion, proportionally-wise. <laughs> the first one that I made, her, her face was too thin, and then I expanded her face. Um... So it was a lot of trial and error. And then I just uploaded the patterns. I was just like, this is what I used. <laughs> on um, This is what I used to make her. So, and I thought I'd share it with you guys just in case if you guys wanted something to do during quarantine. Because I know it can get very boring and mundane. So I thought this would be a nice way to keep your guys' uh, selves entertained during quarantine so boom there you go this is the side pieces on her hair side bangs we got the back dress right here and then i'll show you guys what folds to make in each pattern because that's the important part and that's something that i couldn't really explain in the video too well nor could I have shown it on the pattern because if you guys use the pattern itself without um, cutting it or um, I guess transferring it over to cardstock, I didn't want a bunch of dots and lines to show on your guys' pattern. So that's why I didn't really put that in there. Um, so that's the back of the dress. We got the other side piece right here. So we're going to cut those off. It is so windy outside. Like super windy. I don't know what the weather's like where you guys are at, but it's so windy today. Out of all days. And I think this is just, um, I don't know, it's uh, kind of relaxing. <laughs> kind of relaxing to make Princess Peach. Let me know. Um, is the back of Princess Peach all white? No. This is what it looks like in the back. So no, it's not completely um, white. Um, oh, Professor! Guys, again, if you make this, please share it with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Tag it NintendiY, and I will share it. Because someone already made this on Twitter, and then they showed me it, and I thought it was so awesome. So I actually retweeted that. Um, I thought it was really, really cool. And I definitely will try to feature it in the next video, too, in the next NintendiY. So if you make any NintendiY, please, dude, share it with me. Um, I'll feature you in the video, in the next video. Because I have a lot of Nintendo DIYs coming. Like, a lot. I've been super, bu super busy. <laughs> okay, so we have, like, three more pieces left. This is such good paper. Like, it's ridiculous how good this paper is. But it's just not good for paper crafts, if I'm being honest. It's not a paper craft paper. This is definitely for pictures. It's Canon paper, so obviously it's like for photographs and stuff. Um, again, I'll list my printer down below, but it really is only for pictures. Um, 
Pretty windy there too, book fan. Yeah, it's really windy today. I don't know why. It's very, very interesting. Okay, so. How has everyone been doing during quarantine? Let me know. I hope everyone's been safe and healthy and not touching your guys' face when you guys go out and washing your own hands, all that good stuff. Let me know. So cool thing, Jason is actually getting a perm tomorrow and I'm so excited because his hair is long enough to get a perm and we're just gonna try to see what it looks like. Um, so tomorrow he's gonna get a perm because his hair is looking really bad. It's like, personally though, I actually like it, but he hates it. <laughs> he absolutely hates it. It's so funny. Okay, so we're almost done. We have this last piece to go. And then I'm taking the extra step to show you guys, just in case, again, if you don't have good paper in general. Oh, you know what I need to grab? Did I grab it over there? Okay, so just in case if you don't have good paper, like if you printed this out on cardstock, you're ready to go. Like at this point, you can just jump into the DIY. As for me, I think this paper's not good. Probably the only thing I can use are the eyes, which I lost an eye. <laughs> I lost an eye already. What the heck? Where did I, where did I put it? Okay, well. <laughs> did I really lose the eye? Oh my gosh. Because it's on a black background. A really messy black background. Um, <laughs> well, all right. Well, <laughs> keep track of your patterns, guys. Um, yeah, I lost the eye. I'll have to, I'll have to freaking cut out the eye, which kind of makes sense. Okay, so this is the reason why I don't want to use this paper that I'm using. Because as you can see, this is the eye, right? And I could, I could use the eye and just glue it on there. But if you look on the side, it's white. And that will show. So if I fold this paper, the white is going to show. And that's why I don't want to use this paper. Um, if you have paper that is really durable when it comes to the ink laying on top. That's perfect, use it. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and transfer the pattern onto card stock, which again, I've listed this down below in the description. And these are the colors that we need. So, <laughs> real, real Yoshi, I know. It's okay, well, you know, I might as well cut it out at this point um i figured that if i were to use it anyways like it's gonna show the white and i really want this to have con a consistent color throughout the entire process so anyways <laughs> that's so funny i'm not surprised that i lost that to be honest maybe it's a side of me not being lazy like it's it's the craft gods telling me like hey you should also cut that out so you know, I'm just going to take it with a grain of salt. Okay, so with your pencil, um, <laughs> go ahead and trace out the patterns that you need. You can just use one, to be honest, at this point. So you can just go like this. Boom. 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 Right? And then use another one. Oh, gosh, I messed that up. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm gonna show you on the pattern. How we're gonna fold this is right here at this corner and it's gonna go straight up. So just like this. And this is how we're gonna fold that. And it'll determine either back or front um, what arm it's gonna be, so left or right, okay? So just so you guys know. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to trace all the patterns and then cut them out. <laughs> who's your, wait, what? Hey, Sergeant, who's your favorite wisp in Sonic colors? <laughs> That's cute. I like how you guys are so interactive in chat. That's so sweet. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply the dark pink patterns. And these are basically the accents on the dress, as you can see. So we're gonna trace these out. 
We really just need one of each pattern, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so. So you need two of these, and this is the bottom trim. This goes at the bottom of the dress in the back pattern. This is the side, side piece of her dress. And this actually lays in the back and the front of the dress. So make sure you make two of these. Again, I've listed this cardstock down below in the description. So if you want to order it, go ahead. I tend to make sure that um, the stuff on Amazon are Amazon Prime, just in case if you do have Amazon Prime, so it can come to your house like as soon as possible. Um, so again, check out all the links down below in case you are interested in making this, as well as the free pattern. Free pattern is also down below. <laughs> so, so the free pattern includes all these templates so you don't have to struggle okay so we're done with that we're moving on to the crown so we're using the gold and you know if you end up with cardstock that actually has a shiny gold to it use it it's totally up to you i didn't have any available gold um, cardstock that i could have used so i instead used this uh, plain gold um, but there are cardstock that actually has glitter in it that is really shiny. So feel free to use that. Like I would definitely use that to be honest if I, if I had any. Okay. Cause I think in the game, like, I don't know if her crown is really glittery, but I know Olivia's is, I think the paper that they used for her is actually pretty glittery from what I remember. Boom. And these shapes are so easy too. Super, super easy. Like they're really uh, basic shapes. They're nothing too crazy. The patterns I don't think are like absolutely insane. They're pretty reasonable. Okay, so I'm gonna grab all the yellow. All the yellow pieces. Boom, there you go. These are blue, yellow. All the yellow pieces are her hair. That's her hair. So we're gonna go ahead and grab it. It's so funny because she looks simple, but once you start grabbing all the different colors, she actually has a lot of color to herself. Um, oh, I almost lost a square. Um, but yeah. Overall though, she's really easy. Nothing too crazy. And then one thing I like to do to save a lot of paper too, you can actually put the piece of paper on the edge. So it's one less thing to cut. So you see how that lays nicely on the edge? So I'm gonna go ahead and trace that. Saves you time from cutting, <laughs> you know? Uh, and it's really, it helps you a lot too to get a nice edge. So that's what I like to do sometimes. I don't think that'll fit in there, will it? We'll see. Oh, I think it will. Let me see. I don't think it'll fit. <laughs> Never mind. Um, well, it could probably fit over here. Let's fit it over here. There you go. So as you can see, I'm using the edge. It saves me time from having to cut. And it's, and it's a cleaner cut, so you're not going to get any better than that. Unless you have like a, uh, unless you have this thing. But I probably won't use this, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be using that. So again, I'm going to use the corner here. And I need to make two of these because this is her hair. So keep that in mind, we're making two. I'm going to try to line that up as best as possible. Okay. Boom. Done. Those are all the yellow pieces. 
Um, next, we'll do the blue ones, which the blue is so easy. So the blue is basically her gems. Um, and I'll show you how to fold these into gems. It's really, really easy. Um, nothing too crazy. I'm thinking of actually just using the corners <laughs> if they're perfect, which, ah, oh, this one's not because I think I cut this one. Okay, so I'm just going to go like this. You know, we can just go all the way across, actually. We'll just go all the way across. Boom. Very easy. Nothing too crazy. There you go. So done with that. Those are the gems. Again, I wanted a nice blend between origami and paper crafting. And I think I found it. I think this was a nice blend. It wasn't too complicated. But, I, but it does involve a bit of folding, which is what I wanted. Because I want everyone to at least end up with a Princess Peach at the end of the day. Like, that's my main goal. Okay, so, done. Now we have her back dress, which I am going to try to align as best as possible. And this one's a tricky fold, although it kind of shows it in the pattern. But I'll show you guys how to fold these. Okay, so, boom, done. And then we have this one, which I don't know if I'll be able to cut that like in a straight line, so I'm just gonna move that over, boom. Done. Not bad. Okay, so those are all the pink pieces. Um, we're going to move on to the face. So here's the peach <laughs> or skin tone paper. I don't know. Peach, is that what it's called? Peach skin tone? Who knows? Um, I'm going to go ahead and align this where her neck is. I'm just going to trace out her head. There you go. doesn't have to be clean because we really are going to cut this out anyways. Um, so it doesn't really matter. And then the last piece is, of course, her eye, which I lost one, but we only need one. <laughs> we only need one eye, so we're good. And I'm actually going to flip this over because I can see it better. Again, this is the eye piece. It's printed out. Trust me. It's on the back. Um, but I flipped it because you can see white a lot better. I'm going to line that on the edge. Oh, my nail's in the way. <laughs> okay. Move that over. Okay, and that's it. All right, so we traced out all the pieces, and now it's time to cut the pieces. So a lot of cutting, but once we cut these all out, we're good to go. Um... And that's what my favorite part is actually gluing everything together. Uh, guess Mario. I wonder what they're going to do with Luigi in the game. Same. I'm really excited. Okay, my, who do you guys prefer? I know this is like a, <laughs> this is a hard question, but do you prefer Mario or Luigi? Because <laughs> in all honesty, I love, love Luigi. Like he's my go-to guy. Like Luigi's legit. Okay, so anyways, um, we're going to cut out the eyes. So there you go, cutting out the eyes. Okay, so let's not lose these ones. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the patterns over here next to Peach. So I don't lose them because um, we all know that could possibly happen. And then I have to cut it out again. <laughs> um, so we're going to cut out the face. I'm actually going a little bit below the, what I traced so that the, the pencil doesn't show. I'm, I'm trying to save time. Otherwise, I would actually just use an eraser and erase it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? 
But as for the sake of time, I'm just going to cut a little bit below so the pencil doesn't show. And it makes it easier too, you can cut like this. So it's easier to handle. And then you can just cut this. See, boom. Makes it a lot easier to cut, in my opinion. If you're not working with a giant piece of paper, you don't have to maneuver things as much, you know what I'm saying? Okay, boom. Okay, so we have another piece. There you go. I'll move all the pieces over next to Peach so we don't lose anything because I don't want to lose anything and have to cut it back again. Um, I think we need Paper Luigi in the game. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Although I hope that they do turn Mario into origami. D not because I want him to become evil, but I do want to see the design that they would make for pa for origami Luigi and origami Mario. Um, will Bowser be in the game? Yes. Do you want to see Bowser? I have I have Bowser's form. It's so freaking funny. Um, let me show you guys. Okay, so these are the ones that I made. Okay, so this is ob obviously um, Olivia's brother. Then you have Olivia. So if you guys want these designs or patterns, let me know. I'm, I'm down to make a video about it if you guys want it. Um, and then this is Bowser. <laughs> now keep in mind, the only thing that I didn't do is that his, actual, his uh, body actually is the entire card. Like, you can see his body, his stomach right here. It's so funny, but basically that's that's what he is in the game. <laughs> it's so funny, it's so funny. And then you got Mario. So um, yeah, let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in. Um, okay, so we're gonna move on to the dress. These are the biggest pieces, and these are the pieces that we'll be starting off with first when it comes to folding, um, because this is the base. This is where we get everything started. This is how we start building her up. Because how we're gonna make her is by layers. A majority of the pieces, if you fold them, they'll be the perfect shape. Um, it'd be fun to see an evil origami Luigi. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be really cool. I agree with you. Ga Gabrielle, right, Gabriel. Gabriel, sorry. Gabriel, yes. That I agree. Completely agree with you. Okay, so we're going to cut out these. And again, in the video, it's, I know it's confusing. I should have reiterated this, but this is actually one of the, the first pieces that we work with. And a lot of people are just like, I don't see this piece in there. It was a giant square. And then later on, I cut out the triangles. Yeah, but this is the giant square that I am um, using um, in the video. So that one goes over there. This is the back of the dress. So there you go. Boom. My allergies is kicking my butt. And I like don't know why. I woke up with allergies and I haven't even gone outside in forever. So I don't even know how I got allergies. Um, I've been in quarantine the whole time. I haven't even gone to the park. Like, I haven't even done any of that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Boom. And then we have one last piece for the pink dress. And that is going to be right here. And again, each piece has their own... Um, format when it comes to folding. So I'll show you guys how to fold them, what creases you need, etc, etc, all that good stuff, especially if you're making your own. I definitely want to make sure that you guys end up with your own Princess Peach at the end of the day. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that one away. Okay, so these are the blue diamonds that we have. There you go. Moving right along. Let me know what you guys plan on doing this weekend. Do you guys have any plans? Have you guys pre-ordered Paper Mario? 
the origami prints, let me know. If you haven't, I actually linked down the pre-order in the description. I really think this game is going to go by <laughs> so quick. I think the game's going to be sold out um, very soon. So uh, if you haven't pre-ordered, I do have the pre-order link down below on Amazon, um, including all the materials to make this all my social media, all that good stuff. If you make any Nintendo DIYs, please definitely share it with me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Again, I will be sharing all your guys' creations because I absolutely love it when you guys get super creative. I honestly think you guys are way more creative than I am. Okay, so we're moving right along. We're going to cut these pieces out. So cut out all the pieces. Save your scraps <laughs> for if, just in case you want to make more Princess Peaches. The cool thing about this is that if you make enough, you can actually give these to friends, which is really nice. Or you can make it with friends. I don't know. Totally up to you. <laughs> you can make a whole entire uh, kingdom with these. Um, if I do all the, if I make all the characters, that'd be awesome. So you guys can just, I don't know, put it in a shadow box maybe, right? That'd be awesome. Okay, so. Boom, and then, oh, nope, I can't see it. <laughs> don't, don't use scissors how I use scissors, because it's, I'm cutting towards myself. You should never cut towards yourself. <laughs> I'm so bad, I'm such a bad example when it comes to using these um, tools. Make sure, again, if you are using scissors or X-Actos especially, please, please be careful. Like, exactos are so incredibly sharp. Um, again, ask your mom or dad if you're not old enough to cut these pieces out. Um, that would even be better for you, in my opinion. Um, and then you guys can tackle the gluing together, which would be really cute. Okay, so, boom, done. Next one, this is the crown. And again, like, every piece is pretty much a basic shape. That's why I'm not really concerned about making it too accurate because like it's just straight lines and the scissors really help when it comes to just cutting the straight line. Um, okay, so boom, done, moving on. I'm having a bunch of scraps up here. Like you guys can't see it, but off screen there's a bunch of scraps. Um, <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, so. Okay, we're also gonna do this. We're gonna cut out the side pieces. And again, each one has a different way of folding. And I'll show you guys how to do that. I'm just going to cut that out so it's easier. Oop. Okay. Boom. Almost messed that up somehow. Okay, so boom, next piece. I'm really excited to see if anyone actually made this as well. I know one person made it and they shared it with me on Twitter and like I was so happy. Like it was so cool that people are actually making this. Because again, I always get so nervous on whether or not my DIYs are, you know, good enough or like they're well informed for you guys to make your own. I really want you guys to end up with your own Princess Peach by the end of the day. So that's why I really hope that this DIY is simple and easy and understandable. Um, and that's why I wanted to make it with you guys too, just in case if I missed any instructions in the video. So <laughs> we'll see. Kentman, yes, I made a lot, dude. I made a lot of um, DIYs. I'll show it again at the end of the um, stream, before before I close the stream out. I'll show it again, what I'm currently working on. Um, and I'm really excited for these DIYs because, I don't know, they're just so really fun uh, and they're easy. And everyone really loves Animal Crossing right now. And I think it'd be so cool for people to give gifts as that are like Animal Crossing themed. So that's why I'm like really excited for you guys to jump in on these Animal Crossing DIYs because they're just so cute and easy. 
one in particular is just you basically cutting <laughs> what I'm doing right now, exactly what I'm doing right now. Um, okay, so we're cutting out the side pieces on her dress. Okay, boom. And then the last one is her hands, which actually, so this cardstock is the thickest one. I think it's because I purchased this separate from the actual cardstock paper, um, which turned out good because her hands need to be a little bit more thicker in my opinion, because they hold shape more. Um, and they're the only ones that actually stick out as well. Like it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and cut this out. done. So these are her hands. And this is like, I if I messed up one thing on the video, it's her hands. <laughs> if I messed up one thing, it's her hands. And I'll show you guys how to properly glue this. Because yes, this is like, this is like, for sure what I messed up last time. But I'll, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so we're going to just cut this. And we are almost done with cutting all the pieces out, which is awesome because then we can move on to folding. And folding is, um, I think folding is the hardest part. Um, and I'll show you guys a way to fold it so that it doesn't show too many creases. Because with this particular paper too, what I don't like is that um, like the creases aren't even sometimes if you do it manually. If you put it against the corner of a table, you can make such an easy crease. So that's one way that you can do that. You can actually put it against the table, corner of a table, and then press it in, and then you can make a straight line. So that's one way that you can do um, Gabriel, Bowser is your partner just in the beginning of the game. After his airship was attacked from, um, Oliver's flying paper planes, he is missing. Really? Oh, I didn't notice that. Hmm. <laughs> Edwin, you're so cute. I love your rhymes. Yes. Yes. Really handy. Really handy. Um, okay. So. We're gonna start off with the pink pieces first, okay? And that is, again, the most important part. You can organize your pieces into colors. So you wanna put your dark pinks together and your pinks and your whites and your golds. You're just gonna organize all that, just organize it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the pink first. And I'm going to take out the um, I'm going to take out the patterns so I can show you guys. Okay, so how we're going to fold this one in particular? Where is my pencil? <laughs> we're going to fold this one down the middle. Okay. So down the middle, right in the middle. And then you're going to fold this again down the middle using this point and then you're going to fold it down the middle on this point right here. So sh you should have in total three folds. Okay. So this is the actual piece. So we're going to fold it right here and try to have the points meet. Boom. See? So what I like to do is actually use my nail and kind of glide it on that edge because it makes a really clean crease. So Edwin is going off with these puns. Yo, Edwin, you're too, you're too talented, sir. You're so talented. Okay, so that's one crease, right? Open it back up. And then you can go ahead and fold it again if you wanted just to make that crease a little bit more elevated. So you have that nice crease down the middle. Can you guys see that? Nice crease down the middle. Okay, so the next one you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this. And you're not gonna fold it straight to the middle. No, you're just gonna 
make sure that it lines up with this and with the bottom. Okay, so boom, there you go. And then, boom, there you go. Okay, so it's two creases. And then, like I said, you're going to match it up at the bottom and at the top where the triangle is. And then you're going to fold. If I had to redo this pattern, I probably would make it meet the middle just so that'd be easier for you guys to understand how to fold that. But this is basically what you should end up with. Okay. And again, this is going to be the front of the dress. So as you can see, if I lay it on top, boom, it's that right there. And that's the reason why we created. So this is the confusing part. This is the only piece that's really confusing in the video. Originally, it was a giant square. But later on, I decided to cut this, ending up with that weird piece. But it's the front of the dress. So again, to reiterate, just in case if anyone's watching this video and they try to make it, it's the giant square piece, but I actually just folded it and cut it on the sides to make room for her dark pink um, detailing on the dress. Okay. So again, originally it was a giant square like this, but I cut the, the triangles out. Okay. So we're going to put that piece on the side. The next piece is the back of the dress. Where did I put that pattern? <laughs> oh, okay, it's right here. Okay, so this is the back of the dress, right? So when it comes to this piece, you're going to actually fold it down the middle, right here. I'm gonna do it on the back. Um, you're gonna fold it down the middle, right here. Now you're not folding this corner to here. You're actually folding this corner right over here. You're going to basically fold this crease down here in the middle. It's going to be in between these two points. So you're not folding this crease right here. No, this doesn't go this way. It's going to go right in the middle. So again, you have a point here and you have a point here. You're going to fold this point straight down the middle. It's not going to go this way. Okay, just so you guys know, because I feel like people um, will get confused. So what you're trying to do is align this bottom here. Okay, so what I like to do is always fold it together first, down the middle. This is like the best way, I think, in my opinion, to do this. So fold it down the middle first. Claudio, oh, I love their look. Like, I love it. Um, I don't know if you know, but I made... I made Claudio, is that his name? Claudio, Ollie and, and Olivia, right? Okay, so I love their looks. You have Olivia right here. And then Ollie is like my absolute favorite. I loved folding his hair. See, it's fold, his hair is actually folded. Um, I love their looks and their hands are so cute. So I absolutely love their look. I think it's awesome, it's cute. Um, it definitely reminds me of Yoshi's um, Crafted World. Very, very cute. Okay, so we're going to open that up. And then, like I said, the next fold is not going to be here to there. It's going to be right here down to the middle. So let me show you guys. So you see this? Boom. We're going to bring that right to that corner and to the top. So in actuality, the top right here should, should match and the bottom right here should match, okay? Boom, open that up, fold it again if you want, totally up to you. Okay, so when you do it to one side, you gotta do, do it to the other. So fold that and line it up. Again, this is the back of the dress, okay? So boom, not bad, right? <laughs> oh, Josh, yeah. You know what's crazy? That actually did that automatically. 
I looked for Paper Mario, the Origami Prince, and they don't even have it yet on YouTube. It's not even an option. Not for me, anyways. I tried looking for it and didn't. So I was just like, you know what? Animal Crossing. <laughs> Why not? Anyways, so um, we have that piece. The next piece is very, very simple. Um, and this is the body. And of course, as you can see on the pattern, it has one line going down. So we are going to fold this in half. And then we're going to fold it again on the sides. But keep in mind, we're actually not going to fold it to meet the middle. And this is, I think, again, if I had to remake a pattern, because it's my first time making a pattern for you guys to follow, I would definitely make it so that you have to meet the points in the middle. I think it would have been, like, easier. Like, so much easier. Okay. So... We're actually going to leave space. So as you can see, like, that's why I messed, like, I would have redone this because I don't think it meets in the middle. I don't think it does. Maybe it does. Maybe I was smart enough to actually let it meet in the middle. Who knows? We're going to see. You know what? Maybe, okay, let's have it meet in the middle. If not, then <laughs> I'll have to recut this out, but... I am, so usually I would use the side of the desk, the corner of the desk, but for this stream in particular, my folds aren't going to be that clean. Usually I'm very, very particular when it comes to the, oh, it does. Shoot, that's awesome. Good job, Christine. <laughs> Good job. I don't give myself enough credit. <laughs> okay, so, um, so we got that. So this is going to end up with three folds, okay? So I apologize, my creases aren't that good. Again, you can use the side of a desk to help you create a really clean clean crease. Um, but this is what we're ending up with right now. Which side do I like better? I like this side, this side's better. Okay, so this pattern has three folds going down. So there you go. Boom. So again, Back of the dress, three folds, and again, this doesn't meet in the middle. It it has to line up with the top and the bottom, and the bottom again is at an angle, just so you guys know. So, boom, okay. And then this is that one piece. It was a giant square in the video. It's a giant square. On the pattern, it's a giant square with triangles triangles cut out, but it's the same. It's the same pattern. Okay, so one, two, three, three creases. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, as we're looking at Princess Peach, we're going to actually go ahead and glue on these pieces. Uh, these pieces will be on first, and then we'll glue these two pieces together, which is the dress itself, and then we'll glue the side pieces last. Okay, so we're going to put those on the side, grab your dark pink. This is a really relaxing stream. This is a chill stream. <laughs> um, <laughs> very, very chill stream. Okay, so we're gonna grab this. And again, this is gonna be a really ugly fold. But if you want, use the side of a desk. Actually, I'm gonna use the side of the desk just so I can show you guys what a clean fold looks like. Cause this, like, it does such a clean fold. It's ridiculous. Okay. So I'm using the side of my desk. I put it on the corner at the edge and I use that to fold it in half. Basically with the trim, you're just folding it in half. See? So this is folded in half. Boom. Folded in half. See? Folded in half. Nothing too special. And this is going to go in the front of the dress. So the front of the dress is this piece that used to be a giant rectangle. You're going to fold these together and then you're gonna fold it like this. The fold will be on top and then the open space will be at the bottom. Honestly, the only reason why I folded this, I could have just cut it out and put it there, but again, I wanted it to be 3D. And then not only that, I wanted a clean cut, a clean fold at the top. Um, one thing that you need to do with this piece is not only fold it long ways, but also actually fold it half. Fold it in half. 
because you want this crease to fit right here. Because again, we're going to add the effect to it. You can even stuff Princess Peach. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but this actually opens up. See? So if you wanted, you can actually stuff Princess Peach with not a finger. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's so wrong. But you can actually put like cotton or tissue or whatever. So it gives that 3D effect. So it looks like she actually is wearing like a, a legit dress. And that's what I love about this DIY is that it really does look like a 3D. Um, 3D origami. It's supposed to represent it, but yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and I guess you can even like do it this way too. There's so many options. So either you can glue it like this on top or you can even do it this way. I mean, the world is your oyster. Totally up to you. You know, totally up to you. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Should I just like put the trim like underneath? Because actually that, that would look really nice too. I think that would look really nice. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I made a finger puppet. I didn't even know we can do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking like maybe it would be better if I just do it this way. Well, the reason why I'm considering that is because I actually like the flaps to be out too because it adds a 3D effect to it actually. Now that I realize it. Because you could glue it like this, you see I'm going at, and then have it raised. So I think I'm just gonna keep it the way I had it actually. Anyways, so I'm gonna grab my glue. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my glue and I'm gonna go ahead and glue the bottom right here. I'm so scared to put too much glue on there. Okay. So we're just going to place this on top. So make sure that the middle crease adds up with the middle crease on the pink as well. And be careful with the glue because you don't want it to go on any of the other pieces. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. Now, we're going to move on to the back of the dress, and we're going to use this side because this side I think looks better. I'm going to fold these pieces back. So this is the back of the dress. Now, if you don't have a reference picture, because right now I, I left a reference picture right there of, of Origami Princess Peach. So if you are following, just look up. Um, keep in mind at the bottom of the dress, you can see the different levels of when it comes to the back of the dress and the front of the dress. So the back is going to be a little bit raised. It's going to be higher up than the front of the dress. Okay, so keep that in mind. Reference pictures are so good because, again, it allows you to make this character as accurate as possible. And that's what we want. So I'm going to use the corner of the desk to make that fold. That fold is going to go in the middle long ways. Okay. So this is the other trim on the, on the dress, on the back of the dress. So again, you want to use as many reference pictures as possible, okay? As many, <laughs> as many, Edwin, that's not, at least it wasn't the middle finger. <laughs> um, as many um, reference pictures as possible to help you out. So again, we're taking these dark pink pieces and we're folding them down the middle, okay? So anyone who's joining us, um, you're feel free to hop in whatever stage you're at. Um, if you're completely lost on the DIY that I posted, this is this is the perfect stream to rewatch and follow the directions on, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> okay, so that's folded, and again we're applying these two pieces last. So when it comes to the trim, this right here is going to sit right, well, right here. It's going to sit right about here, okay? So it's going to follow that angle. You know, I really think that maybe I should just, like, have it sit like this. 
<laughs> and that's the cool thing about DIYs is that you can change your mind on however you want to do it. But see, I like the raised aspect. Does this affect it at all? No, I guess I could essentially do that. And you want to make sure that's even too. You want to make sure that it comes out even on both sides. So that's how you want it to glue. Again, you can do whatever you want. You don't even, you can even just cut this in half and not even have any folds if you wanted. Totally up to you. I just like to make it as complicated as possible. So for this, I'm going to change my mind a little bit. I'm actually going to just going to glue it on there where the fold is facing up or down. The fold is down and not up. Um, Be generous with the glue, but be careful where you place the glue and just make sure that everything is even. So boom, there you go. And since we change it up a little bit, I'm going to have to glue this back as well. So I'm going to do that. Um, in the video, I'm using, in my DIY, Nintendo DIY, I'm using like the worst glue. Where is it? It's like a fabric glue. It was the only glue that I had available at the time. Um, but, whoops, I hit the camera. But um, Elmer's glue would work fine. Elmer's glue is probably the best glue to use. <laughs> Any paper craft glue is fine. Um, Double-sided tape, yeah, whatever works. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Edwin, oh, you're so sweet. I hope this is a very chill stream, you know, very chill. Gabriel, yeah. She's crazy. Um, Morgana, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much. Please be safe. Enjoy the rest of your week. Don't touch your face. Wash your hands. And I'll see you in the next stream. Bye. Okay, so we are going to, again, use your reference picture. Um, and if not, if you don't happen to have a reference picture, which you should because if you're watching the stream, there's Princess Peach. Um, this is how the front and the back should lay. Okay, so right there. This is how it should lay. So keep in mind, and you can see this example here. Keep in mind that this front dress is a little lower than the back dress, back part. Okay, so that's how it should look. So um, are we going to glue that on right now? Actually, we could. Let me just reinforce this real quick. Oops. Okay. And then if you need to trim every anything at all, by all means, feel free to do so. That's why you have scissors. If anything's not looking right, it's not even, feel free to trim it to make sure that it looks really even. So when you glue this, I actually kind of glued it in a way where the flap does raise a little bit. And I guess what you could do, I'm like, I like love improvising. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess you could fold this a little bit and then glue it that way so it's raised a little bit. I think that would work. I'm going to try something out with you guys. We're improvising. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm creating two more folds, one on each side. And I'll show you what I'm doing because this just came to my mind to add even more of a 3D effect. We'll see how this goes. So what I'm doing is that I'm actually adding another fold right down the middle. I'm adding it up with those points there. And the reason why is because I'm thinking of adding so it sits like that. My brain always like is on a constant run. I mean I could do that so it raised so it's raised a little bit more. Yeah, I mean we'll see. We'll see. Because it helps support it up actually. It helps to support it up a little bit. And I'm actually liking that. Like, there's a lot more shadow and depth to her dress now. 
I'm actually liking that a lot. <laughs> so that is going to be glued about right there. It might change up the pattern a little bit, to be honest. We're going to see how it goes. Um, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So anyways, um, I'm going to apply the glue right here in the middle frame as well as over here. And those folds that we just made just apply more support. So again, you're gluing this right. It goes a little bit lower than the back dress, just a little bit lower. So that's what you're trying to do. Okay, and you're going to glue it right in the middle. See? So you see how that, whoops, you got to apply more pressure. But you see how that sits right above? And it's right, try to make it right in the middle of the dress as well. So as, as you can see as well, like these are sticking out a lot more. So that's why by all means, like if you have scissors, trim it. You know, if you have scissors, trim it. Just make sure they're even. <laughs> Boom. You want that right in the middle. So that should look like this. There you go. Not bad, right? There you go. So it should look like this right now. Claudio, gotta go. I love your videos. Bye, bye. <laughs> Please be safe. Wash your hands, don't touch your face. Okay, so um, we have the dress. Now we're gonna move on to the body. Actually, just kidding. <laughs> we have the corner pieces to do. So these will sit right on the edge of the dress. So this, you're actually gonna fold, and I'll show you on, on the uh, printout pattern. And on the printout, you can kind of see it too. You'll see a line, a very faded line. You're actually gonna fold it again down the middle, point to point, this way, okay, the long way. So right down the middle, okay. So we're gonna take this and then fold it down the middle. And again, if you don't have, um, if you're not really confident in folding it down the middle, um, you can use the corner of a desk to help you out to make a really clean crease. Um, very, very easy. Edwin Jason would be her echo fighter. Yo, Jason would be such a good echo fighter. <laughs> he would be 2.0 to be honest. He would be a much better fighter than I would be. Um, okay, so Jason is actually working today too. He is working today. Um, and like I said, he's off tomorrow. So that's why we're going to run a couple of errands together so we can get all that stuff done. <laughs> it is so cool. Can I tell you guys what Jason's been doing? My hair's so messed up. By the way, this is my natural hair. Like I, I like have not dyed it. And this is what it looks like when it's not straightened. Um, so I apologize if it looks really crazy. Uh, anyways, Jason is playing the stock, stock market, stock market. Jeez, talking so hard. Um, playing, Jason is playing the stock market and he actually is doing really good. He's like positive. It's so crazy. Like the actual real stock market, not turnips guys. Um, but it's really, really cool. He's so, he got really into it. Um, me, Edwin, making me Edwin. Dude, Edwin is coming in hot with those, uh, with those puns. Okay. So. And that's why I think we're going to have to trim it a little bit. So these will sit on the edge right here. Oh, maybe not actually. Ooh, I am loving how this peach is turning out. Oh, I want to add that. Okay, so what we did here, um, we, we, I guess, use this to apply, like, support to the back so it's raised. And it's just, it's having a lot more depth than this peach. So oh, I'm loving it so far. Anyways, sorry. That is so cool. I wish I'd done that before. And and look how nice this peach, peach piece is sitting right here on top of the dress. It creates more of a shadow, and that's what I want. I don't want it to be pieces that you glue together. No. Um, it's Origami Princess Peach. I wanted to find a balance between origami and um, paper crafting. And so this is like, ugh, this is like so nerdy. But if you look at that, you're creating shadows underneath all these points here. 
which looks so nice. Anyways, <laughs> that's the nerdy me talking about how, um, how really, you know, how awesome crafts are sometimes. Um, <laughs> moving on. And you're, again, you're going to align this like right here. So if I had to look at this, I'd probably put glue here at this point and then glue on the back. So it should look like that. And then you're grabbing this piece as well. You're doing the same. Boom, boom, boom. So you got the dress. So the dress should look like that. This is turning out so cool. <laughs> so much better than the first one, the second one. The third one is like, third one is looking so good. Um, Okay, so how I'm gonna glue this, and again, I'm gonna put one piece of glue here, because I don't want it to lay flat. Again, we're trying to create really nice raised details. You're going to match it up with the angle that's on top. So boom, look at that. That is just looking so freaking pretty. Yeah, I mean, if you guys happen to find any ways of making this even better, I mean, by all means, go go for it. Um, and then we're going to glue this on the back. Boom. Boom. See? Nothing to it. So make sure you apply pressure, hold it there until the glue completely dries, and then you can remove your fingers. But again, be careful of the glue. You don't want it to go on any of the other pieces. Um... Frank, hi, just joined. Where do we buy the materials? Okay, so all the materials are listed down below in the description, um, including the free printout, which I already cut into pieces, but there's a free printout sheet um, that has all the patterns that you need. Um, so that will be down below in the description. Uh, if you have a really good printer and it can print on cardstock, you're set. Just cut out the pieces on the pattern. If not, what I did earlier in the stream is that I actually had cardstock um, in different colors and I traced out the pattern onto the cardstock cut it out and now we're folding it um, I do have a YouTube video and attend DIY on my channel however I wanted to make this live um, just in case if anyone had any questions um, and they can actually follow this video which is a lot more in-depth obviously because I'm doing this live. <laughs> so um, it would be hard to miss a step if that makes any sense Okay, so again, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did on this side. Apply some little little dab of glue right there. It's a little piece. I'm going to match it up. You know what I'm saying? Match it up right there. We're going to just, boom, right there. Hold it there. Hold it there until it uh, has a good grip. Whoops. There you go. So, yes, all materials are down below in the description, including the free printout. Uh, it has the entire pattern for you. It involves, it's a nice blend between origami and paper craft. So, Calvin, uh, so sorry, so, wait, wait, so Chris, sorry about lurking, but my friends need me for technology support. You're fine. Calvin, you do what you, you want to do. You're, you're a vet. You know what's up. Don't even worry about it. I appreciate you coming in here and even just saying hi. So if you got to go, don't even worry about it. Um, <laughs> Edwin, her final smash would be turning people into fudge, yes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab the glue. We're going to glue in the back. Boom. Done. Oh, gosh, the glue fell. Um, <laughs> we're going to hold it there, wait till you get a good, nice pressure on it, and the glue dries. Yeah, I, you know, I'm liking the front because it's, I mean, compared to the second peach, there's just more depth to it, you know? So really, really nice. I'm really, really liking this one. Um, again, we changed a little bit about it. So if anything, if you're following this tutorial, I'd probably, I guess, cut out the pink squares a little bit more, but whatever, it's fine. Um, I'd probably make these bigger. It's probably because we added more depth to where it doesn't reach the middle. But I mean, in my opinion, this is so much better. <laughs> totally up to you guys. Okay. so. Um, yeah, because, I mean, look at that. That is just so crazy. It actually is, look, it's not flat, guys, which is what I want. Okay, anyways, I, I keep gawking over it. I can't believe that we did that. <laughs> anyways, um, 
Now, the next part is her body, right? And this actually used to slip in here. I used to be able to slip it in there, but we changed it up. So it can probably slip in the back right over here. Let me see if it'll fit. Yeah, it'll fit. So that's the body. Now, the cool thing about the body is that when you add the arms, the arms will actually give you the length that you need to cut or to glue or to trim, right? Because this is a very long piece. But luckily, the arms will actually show you how long this piece needs to be because the arms, of course, when given the pattern, that's basically how much space you will have, right? So we're not going to add the arms yet. We're not going to glue this piece yet. We're actually going to move on to the diamond. So grab one blue diamond, right? And the reason why is because we need one blue diamond here. Um, and again, you can use the arms as a reference piece onto where the middle of the body is. So wherever that middle is in between the hands, that's where you're going to put the diamond. So the diamond is interesting. <laughs> and I want to show you how to do it here. And then I'm going to use the creases of the table to make a better crease. But for the sake of showing you guys how to make the diamonds, this is what I'm going to do. Um, because, and again, I'm sorry, I'm going to apologize. My folding isn't going to be really good because I'm not using the side of the table. I'm going to use my nail instead. So this point right here should meet this point right here at the bottom. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fold it in half and have the points meet. And this square is pretty big. This is a really big square, a lot bigger than what you need for the diamonds. Um, but in the video, I reinstated that you need to trim them um, because it's really hard to work with a small diamond. It's nearly impossible. And with my nails, there's no way I could fold it that way. So Duff dog with a blue diamond. Um, <laughs> okay, so you're gonna take that and fold it. And then with the other two points, you're actually going to fold that as well. And you're going to do this for all three blue diamonds. Uh, Duff dog, can I get three blue diamonds <laughs> in chat? Um, so we're going to go ahead and fold that. Okay, so there you go. So what it should initially look like at the end is a kite. So if you ever see a kite, like a traditional kite, um, it's a diamond and then it has like a line going down for the sticks, for the structure of the, of the kite. So basically it looks like a kite. I'm gonna show that for you guys, boom. Okay, so this is the interesting part. Now you're going to basically Pinch it on the sides, and with nails, it's so hard. <laughs> so you're going to see me struggle with my nails. I should cut my nails. Okay, so you're going to pinch it on the sides to create a raised diamond. See? So pinch, pinch, pinch. Pinch, pinch, pinch. And you can straighten it out later. You know, God, it's so hard with my nails. <laughs> but you're going to pinch it up. You're going to pinch here and then push it. Pinch, grab here, pinch, push it. Boom. So you have a raised diamond. Okay. Focus. There. Boom. Raised. Raised diamond. You see that? So initially, you're creating a curvature right here on this edge. Warmies, hello, how are you? So you create a curvature right here in this edge to create that diamond look, okay? Pinch, 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 there you go. So these diamonds are huge. <laughs> and the reason why, again, I made them is because if you have nails, and regardless if you have nails, you it's just so small to work with. So you wanna trim these. And my technique to trimming them is remembering how much you remove right with the scissors so i'm going to try to go up close so you guys can see that remembering how much you remove with the scissors so you move that way and then you see those points that you see right here that's where you want to start off with on the next point 
boom. See? So you're kind of you're kind of leaving a mark on this diamond to know where to trim. Boom. See? So even this, I think this might be too big, but we'll see. Because you kind of want to get it to this size. See, it's still really big. So continue to trim as needed. I mean, you can even leave the the earrings a bit bigger if you wanted, but in the in the trailer, they look like they're all the same size, to be honest. So. Okay, so there, now you have your diamond. Not bad, right? <laughs> very, very quick. Um, let me see how big this is. I mean, I'm okay with that size. It's still a little bit bigger. In my, It's still a little bit too big in my opinion. Maybe I should actually just cut it. Let's just cut it. Yeah, it's just, it's so hard when you have nails. So I really advise that if you have nails, Trim your nails before you do the diamond. Because as you can see, my nail dug into the the raised detail right there. So I'm going to have to cover that up later on to make it look like a clean fold. But, you know. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Take your time on this. Again, I'm, I'm a little bit rushing just because... Um, I don't want to spend too much time here trying to work this diamond. So it won't look perfect in my opinion. Okay, so this is the diamond. Find the best side of the diamond <laughs> and glue that one on. Um, oh, that, that is a little bit too long. Okay, there you go. Sure, why not? Um, <laughs> I could spend all day on this diamond. Okay, so we're going to take this diamond and we're going to glue it right here. Now, we're going to glue it in the middle. Make sure that the, the creases line up, right? And you can use your hand printout as a measurement. You want it to be right in the middle of where this box is. So that middle is like right, right around there, you know. So go ahead and take your glue. And you can glue the diamond right there. Um, be generous on the glue on this part because, again, the diamond is raised. So you want as much contact. I think there's not a lot of contact except for, like, right here and, like, right there maybe. you got to find the points of contact where the paper meets the paper so that it actually has something to stick on. So, boom. Make sure that, again, align align the uh, creases up and then wait for that glue to dry okay so we're gonna let that glue dry okay so we're gonna let that sit on the side and we're gonna move on to the hands so as for the hands we're gonna grab that pattern that I used the printout, again, is down below in the description. It's free. <laughs> Sergeant, careful, careful. Yeah, it takes a lot of, ooh, it takes a lot of, it's tedious. It's pretty tedious. It can be, especially when it comes to the diamond. That's the only tedious part, in my opinion. Everything else is like a simple walk in the park. Okay, so like I said, the hand crease is going to go right here, okay? You're going to basically separate the triangle from the square. You're going to create a crease going right down the middle okay so this is the pattern that we used this is the actual um, cardstock so again you can use the edge of a table and that's what I'm going to show you guys I'm going to use the edge of a table you're going to line the edge and then press and you're going to get a nice clean fold now keep in mind with the hands um, you want to fold them in different directions again because the hands aren't going to fold the same way because obviously you need a right and left okay so we have our right hand here and i'm going to create the left okay 
Oh, Flo, it looks good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm really glad everyone's liking this, to be honest. I wasn't entirely sure, but... Okay, so these are the hands, right? Now, <laughs> let me tell you how to glue the hands because I made this mistake because I didn't have a reference picture. Thankfully, I left a reference picture right there for you guys. She's right there, how cute. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue the hands. The diamond is sticking well enough. We don't need to concern ourselves too much. Um, so do not, do not, do not, do not, do not <laughs> glue it like this. You don't want the creases to meet. Otherwise, you're gonna be creating a square. So you see how um, the creases are, are meeting, they're folded together. I'm gonna to try to focus this camera. Com camera, what are you focused on right now? I can't even. I got it, I got it. Okay, so you don't want the creases to touch. You see this? You don't want them to touch like that. You actually wanna glue it so that this, the top portion touches, but you wanna lean this out a little bit. There you go. So you have this nice angle right here. So again, that's what it should look like. You see where the bend is? We're leaving a bit of room at the bottom. The top can touch, but the bottom, you want to leave a little bit of room, okay? So it's focused on Princess Peach, which is cute. Um, <laughs> okay, camera, I, kn I, know where, I know where your heart lies. I get it. Um, <laughs> too cute. Okay, so. We're gonna glue the hands on that way. So how I showed you is how to glue the hands on. Okay, so we're gonna put some glue here, grab the arms, and again, the top is gonna touch, right? That's the point of contact. But again, leave some space at the bottom. You wanna leave some space at the bottom, okay? Boom. So when you're done with one side, of course you gotta do the other. We're gonna hold that there for a little bit. I'm not sure if I applied enough glue, but anyways, this is just to show you guys how to do this. It's not gonna be as perfect as my actual attempt at making this. I almost glued that on, on wrong. <laughs> right, is that how it goes? Yeah, 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 okay. So, again, when you do it to one side, you gotta do it to the other. So we're gonna leave some space. Try to make them as even as possible right so space at the bottom again space at the bottom okay the the top part is is touching but when it comes to the bottom you got to let it lean out a little bit flare out a little bit okay Devonte, oh thank you so much okay so there you go you see if you need to trim trim but just realize that the hair is going to cover this up you're not going to really see it, <laughs> to be honest. So there's the body. Okay. Very, very cute. I mean, we could trim this. Let's just trim it because it's pretty long. But again, the hair is going to cover that. It's not a big deal. Okay, so when everything's glued together, like I said, we're going to slip this in here. If you didn't do that technique that we did earlier, which was fold that extra fold in, you can slide it in the middle. But since we did that little technique, we're gonna slide it a little bit back. Boom, there you go. And like I said, the arms basically measure out the body, okay? So that's what we're gonna glue. That's This is basically the size that we're gonna glue. See? So that's what it should look like. Focus camera, there you go. So that's what it should look like. Boom, boom. Not bad, right? Okay, so this you can actually glue on right now. The body right here you can glue on. Um, again, usually I can slip it in here, but we tried a little new technique just for the, just for the heck of it. <laughs> and I actually really like it. Um, so we're gonna slide this a little differently. We're gonna slide this in the back right here. So I'm gonna put glue in the back, maybe like about right here. And then we're gonna have that hold. So Elmer, Elmer's glue honestly works so well. You don't need a specific type of glue. I 
used a glue that I wasn't really too satisfied with because it was fabric glue. So any glue will do. Again, match up those, match up that crease line that goes down in the middle. Match that up. And the reason why I actually had her body separate too from her, from her head and her, and her dress is because, um, I wanted her to have like a waist. I didn't want it to be just a straight up, you know what I'm trying to say? Like a straight up pattern. Um, and plus again, it adds depth and it adds like that, that illusion of origami. Um, so this is basically what it should look like right now. I'm actually really liking this. It looks really, really pretty. I think, um, again, I mean, this is just a regular pattern for you guys. You guys can do whatever you guys want. Um, but I think this is like really good. What are you focusing on camera? Anyways, this camera is like, I don't know what it's focusing on. I covered Princess Peach. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so this is the body. We're almost done. If if I cut myself, <laughs> dude, I'm not using an exacto, thank God, because I would, honestly, I would end up somehow cutting myself. Um, you guys all know that. I'm sliding down on this chair. It's so funny. Um, yeah, I'm terrible when it comes to exacto knives. Um, okay, so what we're going to do next, we're almost done. I'm actually really excited. Um, we still have to do the squares, the diamond pieces, and we're going to move on to the hair and then the crown and then the front pieces for the hair and then the eyes. The eyes are last because you really need to measure that out. If it's not placed exactly right, it'll mess up the whole piece. I'm not going to lie. Like the eyes are so important. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold a crease in. Um, when are you doing another custom amiibo? I actually will be doing another custom amiibo very soon, but it's going to be a giveaway. Um, it'll be a collaboration between me and a company. I'm not going to say which company, um, but I'm really excited. So we'll see. Um, so right now I'm working on the diamonds. Frost air. Yo, if you guys make this DIY, or any Nintendo DIY on my channel, because I have a lot of Nintendo DIYs, including the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate invitations, like the envelopes that they give to the characters when they announce that they're in the game. Um, I have a lot of Nintendo DIYs. If you make any, please share them with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All those links are down below in the description, including the materials in this video, the free printout, um, everything, <laughs> absolutely everything. So check out all the links down below. If you make crafts in general, please share them with me. I'd like to see them. Hashtag it NintendiY or hashtag Gunda Chris, um, and I'll see it and I'll share it and I'll love it and I'll appreciate it. It'll be awesome. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> we are working on the diamonds. These diamonds are not gonna look good because my nails have grown so long. Um, so if you have nails and you're trying to make the diamonds, I suggest you cut it out. <laughs> Um, you cut your nails, for sure. Finally, Peach needs a haircut. Yo, yo. Her hair is so long. Um, super, super long. Okay, so right now I'm making the rest of the diamonds. You guys know, I folded it into a kite, basically. I'm pinching the sides here, and I am pushing towards the middle. And that's how you make that raised detail. It's mine look terrible because my nails are so long. I'm so sorry. But if you don't have long nails, this turns out much better than what it looks like right now. Because my nails are killing the, the folds right now. They're just not looking that good. Because my nails are so long. Anyways, that's what you're trying to do. You're just trying to pinch and make a raised detail. I'm going to try to fix it with my nail. Anyways, so that's what it should look like. Boom. Diamond. Not bad, right? So look, from this to this, how cool is that? Right? Hey camera, would you like to focus? <laughs> okay, so there you go. From that to that. Very, very cool. And it's very simple and easy to do. If you don't have nails. <laughs> I have nails, so I'm struggling right now. Okay, so we're gonna do that to the next one. So again, I'm gonna use the side of the table. 
I'm not going to fold it there because it's just, it's not going to look right. I'm already struggling with my nails, so. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and fold this. We're folding it like the kite, like a kite. It's supposed to look like a kite. Two folds, horizontal, vertical. My nails look good. Oh, you're so sweet. I think they look terrible. <laughs> but thank you, though. I appreciate that comment. I actually do not paint my nails um, for the reason because I get them so dirty, especially when I'm messing with clay, that there's absolutely no point in me getting them done. <laughs> they would probably last a day, and then they would get really messy. <laughs> so that's the reason why I don't even try to attempt to paint them um duff dog oh no well yeah you're definitely going to need certain colors and stuff but if you tend to go the the cardstock way that works too um okay so again we have the kite i folded it horizontal vertical take the sides pinch it take the sides pinch it I'm sorry, my nails are just killing this <laughs> fold right now. My nails are just ruining this diamond so badly. Anyways, um, <laughs> pinch, <laughs> pinch. It's because my nails are actually digging into the crease, you know what I'm saying, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm trying to fix it right now, but this is just looks terrible. Um, I'm gonna try to do it sideways. Maybe that might help. So my nails aren't interfering. I don't know if that worked. Anyways. <laughs> I'm trying to fix it so it doesn't look too crazy. Okay, anyways. So we have the diamonds. I'm gonna trim these really quick. A quick trim, but I will... I would honestly not do what I'm about to do. Take your time when it comes to trimming the diamonds. You want every side to be as even as possible. So again, I'm doing this really quick because um, I just want, I don't want to spend too much time trying to get this as accurate as possible. This is just really an example video to show you guys how to do these, just in case if you guys got lost during the DIY process okay so boom done next diamond trim and again I made them big because like making them into diamonds using a small piece of paper is so incredibly hard um, so I did not want you guys to struggle as much as I'm currently struggling right now okay so we're gonna go ahead and cut these trimming it down um, I'm just going to eyeball this real quick. Boom. But again, if you're doing this, please take your time. Um, ooh, that is, ugh, I can't even, that's so ugly. I'm, I can't even be okay with leaving it like that, to be honest. Um, yeah, this is a little bit too long. So just, just take your time. You want to, you, you want to trim the exact amount that you're doing with every side with all four sides. Okay, so we have our diamonds. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the hair. And the, and the hair is so optional, um, especially when it comes to the front bang. But what you wanna do with the giant piece, which is the back hair, you wanna fold that in half. So we're gonna fold this in half. Again, use the corner of a desk if you need but I find it easier to fold the bigger pieces, so I'm not gonna use the corner of the desk. And you want it to just fold it right in half. You want all the points to meet. Fold it again on the other side to make a nice crease if you want to. Find the best side of the hair, and then use that. So this is going to be glued on this way. So you see how it's folding upward? This is going to fold. This is actually going to be glued right here. So it should be basically enclosing Princess Peach, right? So you, so the fold isn't going to go out this way and then you glue it. No, 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 no. It's going to go this way. 
and you're going to have it enclose Princess Peach, okay? To add, again, more 3D effect, more life to it. Um, are we gonna do another Ring Fit stream? Of course, eventually. I definitely wanna get this out the way, just because I felt like my video could be confusing at times. So if people are at all confused, they can watch the stream and make Princess Peach. Okay, so what we did with the blue diamonds is what we're basically gonna do for the side pieces of her hair. Okay, so again, <laughs> we're gonna make it into a kite. I'm gonna use the corner of a desk. Um, I'm gonna do this as quick as possible. Again, we're gonna make it into a kite. So grab those yellow squares, those giant yellow squares, and fold it. Fold it, fold it, fold it. Um, how would you feel if Giga Bowser were to appear in the g other games besides Smash? Down. I'm down for Giga B Bowser. Dude, Giga Bowser was so cool. Yes, I'm all for it. Um, all, all for it. Uh, maybe a story will cheer you up. It's called Ugly Barnacle. Once there's an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. That <laughs> Edward. <laughs> I can't. Okay, so again, we're going to take the corner of the desk. And we're going to go ahead and fold that. Um, okay. So we're going to go ahead and... And again, fold this, and we're going to make this into the diamond. So we're going to take those pieces again and push towards the middle. Okay, and you're going to create that diamond. Boom. So in comparison, this is what it should look like. Cool, right? I mean, that's a really cool way to create diamonds. So we're gonna go ahead again and fold the corner of the desk. We're gonna use the corner of the desk to help us. Honestly, it's so, like, it's so helpful to use the corner of the desk. It makes a really clean crease in the paper, just in case if you're not too confident in just folding it yourself. You just align it to where you want it to fold and then press press in on the corner of the desk. Okay, so again, we're gonna do exactly what we did with the blue diamonds, and we're gonna do that to the pink, the yellow ones. And that is what it should look like for now. How would you feel if Bowser was a Pokemon? <laughs> I am down. Bowser to be a Pokemon, yes. Bowser's so cool, I like Bowser, I'm sorry. And Baby Bowser's cute too. I actually tend to use Baby Bowser in Mario Kart. Okay, so again, we're gonna take those the diamonds and we're gonna push, 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 push towards the middle, push, push, push. We're gonna create a nice crease. There you go. Okay, so now we have our diamonds, right? And if you need to trim those, trim those, cause I think you might need to trim these just because I don't think they're completely even but we'll see. So we're gonna put those on the side. So there you go. These are her earrings. This is her hair. And this is going to be her front, um, her front, what is this called, bangs? <laughs> okay, so, oh yeah. Oh, did it not, did Streamlabs not work? Oh, Calvin, thank you so much for the donation. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh man, what's up Streamlabs? Where are you? Hello Streamlabs. Um, yeah, that's weird. That is weird. That's weird. Alerts is there. It's on there. Maybe I should like, hold on. That's weird. Streamlabs, yo. Um, let me see this. I like Bowser too. Yo, Bowser is so cool. Giga Bowser. I'm all for it. Absolutely for it. Um, that is so weird. Mm, mm. Streamlabs, dude. Where are you at? 
It's weird because Caitlin donated too, and that went, that didn't go off, did it? But it gave me a notification. That's so weird. Anyways. <laughs> weird, weird. Whatever. We're going to work with it. Okay, so this is the bangs. Um, I do appreciate it though, Calvin. Thank you so much for the donation. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you. You've done so much for Jay and I. Ugh, I cannot wait till tomorrow so you can try out his tank top. Okay, so I had to wear this one though. I knew when I woke up this morning, I was just like, this is the tank, th tank top that I'm going to wear. I was like, yes, because look at it. Freaking Super Mario, yo. And this is actually a uh, Nintendo merchandise. Anyways, I digress. <laughs> so this is the bangs. We're going to fold this going down this way. And then we're going to fold it horizontal going down this way. So you're basically going to have this point meets meet this point right boom oh it's a little off again you can trim if need be i think this is a little off so i might actually just trim it um i could trim it i'm going to just show you guys live right now me trimming it because i think it's good to show you guys what it looks like you know what i'm saying in real life okay so boom points don't meet we're gonna make it meet <laughs> okay anyways and then you want to fold it again so this should have two folds in it so boom this way and then have it fold this way and you want those to meet you want all the corners to meet boom if it doesn't meet whatever trim it <laughs> trim it I don't care <laughs> It'll, it'll come out nice regardless. Um, cause I want this to be as authentic as possible. So just in case if you guys run into problems, that's one way to solve them, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's so crazy. It's not giving me alerts. That's so weird, weird, Blah. but former O five, 5 thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Gabriel, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys are awesome. Very, very cool. I wonder why it's not working. <laughs> let me show. Let me see this. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Anyways, fix it later. Okay, so this is her front piece. So we've basically folded everything that we need to, which was the hair, because this is our step that we're at, the hair. And we're almost done, actually. So what you want to glue next is the giant piece of hair. Now, keep in mind, again, proportions are so important. And the hair should end up falling. So you see this crease on the side? This, the hair should end up falling right above that. Like right above that, if I'm not mistaken. Let's look at the reference picture real quick. Does it fall like that? No, no, no. It falls like right here. Okay. So this is where the hair should end up falling, right? And then you slip the head in, <laughs> which is weird. <laughs> so the head should end up like that, right? That looks about right. Um, let me double check. So I really want to make sure this is as accurate as possible. So let me double check. Yeah. Right? What did I do for here? Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, cool. So using our reference picture and using the one that I have here, there's three points, right? So one, two, and then three for her hair. So one, two, three. You're going to have this part lay right there in the middle of the dark pink. And that's how that should line up. So like that. It should look like that. Okay? So that's what it should look like. Um, what I think I'm going to end up doing, I'm not going to glue it on right now. What I'm going to do is actually glue the earrings on here. 
first and then we'll glue the hair on because we're going to use the earrings as an anchor so the hair can kind of like come out 3D. Um, I wonder what an origami of Gunda Chris would look like. <laughs> yeah, that'd be very, very interesting. <laughs> very, very interesting. Okay, so yeah, I think... Um, I think that would be very cool just to see. I mean, I want to see all the characters, honestly, and what they look like as origami in general. That would be so cool. So I'm going to grab the head. And in order to know where to place the earrings, they need to be in the middle of the bottom of her face. So this is the bottom. This is the top. They need to be in the middle of where her face is, the bottom portion. Okay. So I'm going to grab glue. And we're going to put that right there. We're going to do a generous amount because, again, we need to find that sweet spot where the, the paper makes a contact. And it's actually going to be right here. So we're going to go ahead and do this. So we're going to hold that there for a little bit. And again, you want to apply a pressure enough to where the glue dries. And this might take a little bit. I'm going to blow on it. Hopefully it speeds up the process, but we'll see. Okay, and then you're going to do that again to the other side. I'm just going to lather that on there. <laughs> and hopefully that, that contacts the, uh, the paper very well. Okay, boom. Make sure it's even again. You want to make sure that everything is even as much as possible. Okay, so make sure everything is where it needs to be. So it should look like that. There you go. It's, as, it's pretty even, in my opinion. That looks pretty good. So, not too bad. Um, it would be cool to see an origami version of King Boo, too. Oh, that would be so, so cool. Like, that would be awesome to see that. Okay, so, um, we're going to go ahead and leave that to dry. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. And then I think the last pieces that we have are the crown and the two eyes. And that's it. And then we're done. How, how easy is this so far? I think it's pretty easy, right? It's a nice blend between origami and paper crafting. And it's not too hard. Again, I wanted something that would be really easy. So at the end of the day, you guys at least have a Princess Peach. So, and it's a Princess Peach that, again, is 3D-like. It's not flat. It has a lot of depth to her. Um, and it just literally looks cute to display. If you make this, too, before July 17th, you can actually take pictures. And then when it arrives on July 17th, you can take pictures with the Switch. It'll be awesome. Very, very cool. Um, <laughs> okay, so. Now, we're going to glue on the hair. But again, I'm going to use the earrings as an anchor point. I'm not going to try to, um, because again, I want to add as, as much depth to her as possible. So we're going to, we're going to see how this goes. You want to look for those contact points and I'm trying to feel for where that would be. So again, we're going to have the dark pink meet the yellow on the third and second contact point that you see right there. So you should have two points sticking out when it comes to the hair. And I'm trying to feel for where this would, ah, you know what, I'm gonna trim that. That's probably why it's not sitting nice, to be honest. Okay, so that's a lot better in my opinion. That's a lot better. Okay, so we're gonna basically glue it right there. And then that'll sit right there. That looks so good. That looks so, so good. Okay, so um, we're going to glue the hair. And I think I'm going to apply glue just where her body is. So you see where that curves up? That's where we're going to glue it. So apply glue there. And I might even want to trim this. Let me see if I can trim that. So I'm going to trim this so this sits up nicely too. 
So then we kind of get like this raised detail. So I'm going to go and glue this here. It was here. Again, you want the two points sticking out. So make sure that the yellow lines up with the maroon the, or maroon, dark pink. And you can actually squeeze that in too, just so that you get a nice curvature. I'm gonna hold that there actually, boom. Oh, that's what I should do. So yeah, wherever you place the glue, you're just gonna hold it there and have it sit there and make sure that it stays on. We're gonna hold it there. So again, I'm actually putting my finger right where her neck is and I'm actually pushing that towards the creases. So we get that nice curve. You want these creases right here in the middle to add up. So you see how I got that little, I don't know if you guys can see that. There, you see. so you see how I have it raised in the middle? You see that wide space? That's what you want. So then you create that, that, that uh, 3D effect. You see that? So you should be able to see right through her and you should have a really good gap. So that way, again, you have a really nice 3D layered princess peach. Okay, so. That looks really, really good. This is probably actually the most 3D Princess Peach <laughs> that we've had. Um, a Princess Peach made by Donna Chris would be the best. <laughs> You're so sweet. Yes to King Boo. Yes, yes. Morgana, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope if you do make this that this was a very easy tutorial to follow um, and that you can make this at home as well. Okay, so the next thing that we should do is of course put her head inside and if her head doesn't fit again you can you can just trim it feel free to trim it neat as needed um because we did make adjustments on this attempt on this princess peach oh uh, gosh this is like not the right way to cut but i'm just gonna do it for the sake of this stream okay so <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and slip her head right in. You can glue it, go ahead. You can even leave it out, it doesn't matter because we're gonna glue everything else. It's just gonna make it a lot easier. But what you wanna do with this, oh, I totally forgot. What you, wow, I would. Um, what you wanna do is fold this actually down the middle. Well, I'm gonna try to make fold this without destroying the diamonds. But you wanna make sure that you fold her head. I totally forgot she had a crease down her head. So make sure you fold that crease before you glue it on. That's what I was, I was like, why isn't she not fitting as nice as I wanted her to? Um, there's a crease right down the middle. So make sure you guys apply that crease on her head. There you go, done, easy, easy peasy. Anyways, um, so we're gonna go ahead and slip that head in. Um, I am gonna glue it so I can create a raised detail and I'm gonna stick my finger in there as well to apply pressure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put, I should put glue inside here because we're gonna slide it anyways. So I'm gonna to try to put glue in here. There you go. Ooh, that's, oh gosh, the thing came off. It would. Okay, anyways. Luckily, it's something that can be easily fixed. There you go. Oh, I know, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so don't forget to crease this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slip this head right in there. And then you're gonna put your finger in there and apply pressure. So that, again, you see that raised detail? You see her head is like actually raised and it's coming out? That's what you want. So again, this Princess Peach is all about 3D effect and making it, making the illusion of um, origami. Because this is definitely a combination of um, origami, some paper folding here and there, and then cutting and gluing. So again, put your finger in there and apply pressure. So again, you should have all these little cute raised details. Let that sit, let that dry, and then it's time to move on to her hair. Her bangs, her, her side parts, all of that. Okay, so what we can do 
Um, and what we actually, I guess what we should do is no, we should glue on these pieces first. We'll glue on her side pieces. Okay, so when it comes to her side pieces, the diamonds should be laying about right in between the blue diamond and the end of where her hair lays, right? So you want that piece to lay about right there. You see? So you see how that point is laying in between the blue diamond and the yellow space? That's where you want that to sit. So it's, as you can see, it's shown in this example as well. That's where the point is laying right in between the blue diamond and her hair. And that's where you want that to be glued, okay? So right there. So we're gonna go ahead and apply glue. We're gonna cover her extremely large forehead <laughs> is basically what we're doing. And then we're gonna have it sit right there. And if need be, apply more glue because I don't think that's gonna sit right. So I'm gonna apply glue. Boom. It's okay if you get extra glue on top. Again, we're gonna cover that. So just make sure that the crease is horizontal. Okay, so there you go. Boom. So again, that point is sitting right in between the blue part and her the back of her hair. So what you do with one side, you gotta do with the other. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna apply that. Um, should I put glue? Where should else should I put glue? I guess that's okay. Okay, so be generous with the glue because I don't know exactly where the points sit. And again, you want some sort of contact between the paper. So again, that point is sitting in between the blue diamond and her hair. I'm not entirely sure if there's any contact actually with the glue. Where does that sit? Oh, there's none. No wonder it's not sticking. Okay, so. Be generous with the glue. Um, it can show on top because we're gonna be covering that up anyways. Okay, so, boom, done. So let that hold, apply pressure, let it dry. And just make sure it's even too. You wanna make sure it's even, that was not even, good thing I checked. Um, okay, so apply pressure, hold that, and uh, yes, make sure that it is good to go. Um, Clifford Daw, whoa, whoa, whoa. Clifford Longhead, thank you so much for subscribing. I think I mentioned him already, but just in case if I did it, thank you so much for subscribing, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with the alerts. <laughs> I think it's because I set up the second Logitech, so I did that this morning, and it probably messed up the, the alerts or audio or whatever. I'll have to figure it out later. But I appreciate it. I think I, I think I already mentioned him, but if not, thank you so much again. Um, we're gonna hold that there. It's not drying as quickly as I wanted it to, but <laughs> we're gonna fan it. She's looking really good so far, like really good. I'm really, I'm really happy how it's she's turning out. To be honest, um, and you know me, I'm always critical when it comes to like my DIYs and stuff. Especially when, especially since it's my first pattern. And I hope that everyone has been able to make their own Princess Peach. So this is the stage that we're at right now. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys what she looks like right now. This actually is really freaking good. I think it's better than my second one. This is my third Princess Peach. And I really think that uh, this is the most 3D-like Princess Peach. Um, and she just looks really pretty. Okay, so, anyways. Um, we have the part that goes in the middle and her crown to glue on. So, when it comes to the crown, what you wanna do is grab this piece, which is the triangle, right? And you wanna fold that in half. So we're gonna have this part meets the other side. Okay, and again, if you're having trouble folding these at all, use the edge of a table makes it so much easier and you won't end up with these little crinkles either. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. Yeah, you guys can see it. It's not pretty. So again, use the edge of a table. 
and then you want to fold that again and then choose the best side of the two which honestly this actually looks pretty good this side looks I like the crease that you can see it a lot more but I don't like that how messy it looks or maybe whatever I'm just gonna use that side <laughs> use the best looking side what you think is the best looking side and I think it's this side okay anyways so you folded that in half the first one that you're gonna you're actually gonna glue is the back part and you don't need to fold this one um, if you want it to sit better on the head or on the hair depending on where you want to glue it that's where actually I guess you should fold it because then it'll sit better so yeah fold this one fold this part first <laughs> we're making up we're making improvements to the design fold this part first and then depending on where you glue it that's where the crease should go so if I'm gluing it here then it should sit about like right here if I'm gluing it in the back that's where the crease helps because as you can see it just sits better what if I were to glue it ooh I'm coming up with new ideas on the spot. It's so funny. I'm going to glue this. Okay, so glue the cr the back crown to the back of the hair. We're going to create more 3D effect. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so <laughs> my creative juices are flowing. We're going to go ahead and we're going to glue the back crown to the back of the hair. Okay, like so. Make sure it's even. See? So in enough space, even space between each side. Make sure it's even and it's secure and well placed. So boom. So glue it on the back. So you're taking the back part of the crown and you're gluing it to the back part of the hair. So the yellow large piece. And then as for the crown itself that sits in the front, you're going to glue this on her head. And the reason why is because again, we're going to create that 3D effect. Oh, I love this peach. This is like the best one that I've made so far. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna and I didn't do it with the I didn't do it with the first peach or second peach. This is a new new technique. So um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab this and we're gonna glue it right there and make sure it lines up. Make sure everything um, is straight and even. Apply pressure so that it holds. And definitely make sure that the um, middle part adds up as well. So I'm blowing it on, I'm blowing the glue a little bit so it dries a little bit faster, but there you go. That is so cool. So as you can see, we provided a separation between the front crown and the back. And it just, again, adds more depth. It really does give that illusion of paper um origami um <laughs> peach the third yeah this is literally the third one um oh thank you frosta you're so sweet i am well the cool thing is d throughout this entire stream i've been actually adjusting and i'm liking the adjustments because it does really provide a 3d effect so this is the first one it's still 3d or sorry this is the second one it's still 3d however this is definitely like so as you can see the crown right here is flat whereas our crown on the third one is like look at that look at that depth so i'm i'm all for this <laughs> peach right now this peach is so good um <laughs> pats on the back for us guys <laughs> fernando hello how are you okay so we're gonna grab the front portion and as you can see um we've provided a double layer now you could glue this on these edges here and again we're going to try to provide a 3d look um or you can cut in half totally up to you i am going to end up gluing that and actually trimming the front to make it more even because um, it's a little off in my opinion So I'm going to trim that um, and then I'm going to glue it on the corners right here, just on the corners. I'm going to pinch it, hold it there, pinch it and hold it. 
<laughs> Jatoons, hello. Yeah, the one with Depp looks amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, we. I was definitely figuring this out as we were going. Um, so I really highly recommend if you're going to make this, um, use this stream as an example. Go step by step, pause the video if you need to. Again, all materials are down below in the description, including the free printout. There is also all the materials listed down below. They are all linked to Amazon, so you just have to put it in your cart, check out, and go. And of course, all the social media is down below as well. So if you do make this, um, please share it with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I've already saw one person make this, and I've retweeted it on Twitter, because it was just so cool. The fact that people are actually making this, like, honestly, makes me so happy. I, I can't believe people are actually following this. <laughs> I can't believe it, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy and, and it feels me, honestly, it just makes me so happy that people are really having fun with this. Okay, so when it comes to gluing this on, this is the tricky part, and this is probably the most trickiest part, to be honest, is finding that middle part and making sure that this covers the bangs. You want to make sure that this covers the bangs. So I think we found our part. This looks pretty good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to glue this at the top part top portion um, and then leave it at that. I might actually want to add glue here so it does support it. So I'm going to add glue here and I'm going to add glue here. Boom. Hopefully not going past the bangs, but we'll see. Okay, so that is glued down. We're making sure that, that those parts are in the middle and then you kind of want to have the crease go up slightly to again create that 3D effect. Okay, so there should be a gap between her face and the bangs is what I'm trying to say. So boom, there's that gap between her face and the bangs. Okay, so we're gonna hold it there Make sure ah, some glue peeked out a little bit. I'm just going to wipe that away. Um, we're going to hold it there until we get a really strong hold. I'm going to adjust everything, make sure everything's good. Yeah, so just let that sit. Not bad. <laughs> that is really cool. I'm just like shocked. <laughs> very, very shocked. Um, yes, an all time fan of Paper Mario. I really like trying my hand at this. Oh yeah, dude, Frost Air, please send me a picture. I'm gonna share it, cause that is just really inc incredible. Okay, so she is 3D'd. She looks really, really good. The last thing to do is her eyes. And that is the trickiest part of this entire, entire process, in my opinion. Because if you don't get the eyes right, it just doesn't look good. So we're gonna take a look not, at not only the example that we have right here, but we're gonna actually look at this example. Now, this is where you wanna place the eyes. You wanna place the eyes, we, you see that crease right here? You see that corner right there above the bangs? Right here, you see that corner? That's where that eye is gonna land, right in that middle, boom, right there. And then where I usually um, eye it, it's gonna be right above, it should lay right above where the earring is right above that. So you're going to aim for that crease right here, that corner where that meets, and then you're also going to have it a little slightly above where the earrings are, where that crease is, that middle line. Okay, so that's where you're trying to aim for. Now, it's hard because these eyes are so small. <laughs> so what I like to do is grab it from the end, and I like to put glue right there. That might be too much glue. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe that a little bit. Okay, but that's basically what you wanna work with. Okay, so I'm gonna pinch it right there, and it's really hard because I have nails too, so that's not helping at all, that works against us. And then I'm gonna flip it, see, boom. So now I'm still holding it at the end, and the glue is right here. So I'm gonna find that corner right there, and I'm gonna drop it. I'm just gonna drop it, boom. And I'm going to make sure that I align it ever so slightly. And then when I think it's at a good position, and I'll press down. And they should be close together in proximity. 
Oh, I think this might be off. And that's why this is really, like, really hard. It's really hard. So it depends on just everything in general, but I think that's a good position. Okay. So I did align this line with this corner. And that look, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to do the other eye. And again, I'm going to show you what I usually do because this helps me. If you have a better technique, let me know. But I'm going to put a dab of glue right there. Not too much because, again, I don't want it to seep out on the edges. So I'm going to wipe that a little bit. Nick, yeah, for sure. Nick, you're so sweet. I hope you've been well. It's so nice to see you in chat. I'm so sad that we can't see each other at Evo. Um, but it's so nice to see you in here. Okay, so we're going to, so see that? So we're going to flip it, grab it from this end, and then you're going to place it down right there. And again, just be careful. I'm using El Elmer's glue, so like even if I mess up, I could actually wipe it and it won't look too crazy. Um, but you definitely want to add up the eyes. Th this eyes is pretty, uh, it's pretty hard, honestly, to add up, but... That looks pretty good, honestly, in my opinion. I think we did a pretty good job. If not, well, it's already glued on there, so. <laughs> okay, so this is Princess Peach. Now, people would think that we're done at this point, and we're not. Um, and the reason why, if you look at Princess Peach, the example that I gave you right here, um, there are certain things that you can do to highlight the creases. And I'll show you guys one secret technique before we are done with the stream. Um, and this is gonna take a little bit of time, but the more time and effort you put into any Nintendo DIY, the better it's gonna turn out. So <laughs> this is what you wanna do. Devonte. oh, this is really cool. Oh, I like it, I do like it. Um, I wonder how you make Olivia and King Ollie. Yes. So. It seems like you guys are really interested in these ones, and I'm down to make a DIY of these. I'm down to make a DIY. Um, okay, so now the secret technique that I want to show you guys, um, grab a very thin brush. So this is my thin brush, right? And what you want to do is grab some white paint so here's my white paint. And you don't wanna glob it on there. Um, we're gonna dry brush it, which is the ratio between water and paint. So dry brushing obviously is not a lot of water. You don't even wanna add water, in my opinion. Um, unless like it's just not flowing as nice as you want it to. But you're gonna grab some paint and you're gonna, on every crease, except the face, do not do the face. You don't need to do the face. The face is fine. <laughs> but on every other crease, you want to add that shade, especially on the gems. So you're going to follow the crease line. And even it even helps to go opposite direction, but you're going to follow that crease line. And you can create that 3D effect as if we folded it and it's getting that nice crease, especially on the hair. Do it on the hair. And these subtle details just take it a step further, in my opinion. Where did I put the paint? Oh, there you go. So yeah, these subtle details take it a step further and just make, it makes her pop out so much more. And it kind of makes it like a realistic like fold, you know, cause you're giving it a highlight. You're making it look like as if we folded it, we gave it a good crease, and it's looking a lot more 3D. <laughs> Gabriel, hello, Devante. Um, Peach did have a dark side from the Shadow Queen. Yeah, that's true, Gabriel, thank you so much. I appreciate it, that's awesome. Okay, so, um, again, we're, I ran out of white paint. So we're gonna take that white paint, and for every crease, especially on the gems, um, and on her hair, uh, definitely, definitely add that line. You want to definitely add a white line on the creases. It just highlights everything so much more. So it stands out. 
and it gives it that effect of a raised detail. It makes it look like the game even more. Because in the game, on the creases, they actually add like a highlight. So you're going to, again, do it for the hair. And if you need to pinch the hair or any crease to make it raise so it's easier to paint, by all means. So again, we're going to do that to the crown. Um, you can do it to her dress. Anything else? So yeah, you're just going to add that everywhere, wherever you see creases. Because I'm telling you, when you take the time to do this step, it's going to look so much better, so much better. Okay, so you're going to go along that edge, along the creases. You're just going to create that effect. Oops. Be careful, though. <laughs> Be very, very careful. And take your time. If you mess up, I guess you can paint it, um, but yeah, you gotta be very careful. Okay, so that is basically how you make Princess Peach from the new game that's coming out July 17th. It is Paper Mario, the Origami King, which I'm very, very excited for. Um, I will make the other DIYs for Olivia and Ollie. I think you guys really do like these ones. So I will definitely make tutorials. They'll probably be in the same tutorial since they're brother and sister. It just makes more sense. It's so weird that we see two, two peaches. I have another peach. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is the second peach. This is the third peach. Honestly, third peach is looking so cool. I really like how third peach came out. Um, this is what they look like. Again, all materials are down below in the description, including the cardstock. If you need cardstock, if your printer doesn't print on cardstock, it's a better option. Just use the graphic that I provided down below as a stencil. So again, if you want the patterns for Princess Peach, all of that is down below in the description. If you happen to make Princess Peach or any Nintendo DIY, definitely share it with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook so I can share it with all the Amiibos that are currently watching because it would be awesome. Um, again, uh, this is very easy and simple to do. I do suggest that you follow this stream if you are planning on making it. And again, if you do make it, please share it with me. I would honestly, it brings me so much joy to see people actually make my Nintendo DIYs uh, because like, it gives me gratification in knowing that I explained it enough that you guys followed it and you guys ended up with your own gift that you can give to someone or display in your home. I think it's really, really cool. Um, let me know if you guys liked this stream uh, and if I should do more art streams, I guess, while I'm at it. I think it'd be really, really cool. Um, Peach used double check. I know, right? You want to see the first one? The first one, oh my gosh, the first one is so small. Like, it's so different. And that's the thing about making Nintendo DIYs. When you make it continuously, you just get better at it. Okay, so this is the first one. So she's small. She's a lot smaller, as you can see. Um, and I didn't like her face. Her face isn't accurate, to be honest. Um, but this is these two are a lot more accurate. Um, and these were used using the pattern. These were made using the pattern. So the, again, the pattern is down below in the description. As you can see, the difference is this is more 3D and this one is a little bit more flat. So 3D flat, you can see the shadow here. This has a lot more depth to it, um, which is really, really cool. Um, but overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will show you guys the next DIYs coming up very soon. They're Animal Crossing related. So again, we have a DIY for Ollie and Olivia coming out. And I'll have the patterns for you guys downloadable. Um, they're a lot more complicated, but we'll see if I can make a DIY for it. The next, I guess, um, Animal Crossing DIYs is the life-size bottle DIY. And again, all materials will be down below in the description, including for this one. Um, we have a keychain version. And then we have one that you can make into an earring or a necklace, etc, etc. I'll have the printout for that as well. Um, so you guys don't have to edit your own. Um, 
I will also be having a printout for the Nook bag, the medicine bag, <laughs> and then the fish bait. Boom. Just nice ways to have your own party at home. You know, if you have a friend or a family member who loves Animal Crossing, it's a perfect way to display your gifts. Um, and then the last DIY that I'll be um, showing you guys. Um, and of course, all these DIYs are coming very soon on my channel. So if you haven't done so, please subscribe right now. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and then the last DIY is this shadow box with all the bugs, which is really, really cool. So I think that would be really, really cool to show you guys, which is really awesome to display. And again, these aren't real bugs. Guys, these aren't real bugs. These are like fake bugs. So don't worry, I didn't kill any bugs. <laughs> these are all printed out. They all actually have gems and glitter on them, as you can see. So that one has glitter. The tiger butterfly has a gem on there. So these are realistic as possible. The um, atlas moth, those, the antennas are actually feathers, which is pretty cool. And then glitter and glitter. So yeah, this is very easy, simple to make. This is coming very, very soon. Very, very soon. And I actually have one with all the bugs in it too. So I just wanted to do one with all the butterflies first because I thought it'd be really nice. Um, and yeah, those are just nice ways to show your love for Animal Crossing. I have other Animal Crossing DIYs, such as the fossils, the bell bag, and the balloon gift boxes. And it's super accurate, like the bow stands up and everything. I'm really particular when it comes to details, so that's probably why. Um, but I hope overall that you guys enjoyed this stream. It was really, really fun to actually show you guys how to make Princess Peach. Again, if you make her, um, please share it with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I would love to share it with all the Amiibos and Amigals. We have merch coming very soon, Nintendo DIY. We also have Amiibos and Amigals shirts coming very soon. Um, a lot of things in the works that I'm really, really excited for. Uh, I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, it's been an awesome journey and like I love absolutely streaming with you guys. I apologize again that I haven't streamed in a while because I've been working on all those DIYs, <laughs> but they're coming very, very soon. Let me know how you guys enjoyed this stream. Um, and you guys already know. Uh, if you guys say bye in chat, I'll say bye to you guys in real life. Please, please be very careful out there. Um, stay safe, be healthy, um, well wishes to you and your family and friends. Um, I can't wait to see you guys in the next stream. Don't forget to subscribe so I can see you in the next stream. Don't forget to like this video and comment down below who I should make next into origami. Doesn't have to be from uh, Paper Mario, the Origami King. It can be any character from the Nintendo universe or any universe. Uh, let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Uh, say bye to the channel, say bye to your life. Um, Mr. Drones, shoot, I just got here. Ah! Well, Mr. Drones, if you wanna make Princess Peach the printout, the free printout is down below in the description. Um, Jatoons, bye. Bye, bye. Frostier, thank you so much if you do make it. Um, and it probably won't look ugly, promise. If you have any questions, let me know. Just comment and I'll try to reach reach out to you. Um, Mr. Drones, bye. Sergeant, bye. Robes, bye. Yes, Robes, I'm probably gonna see you tonight, to be honest. I'm probably gonna see you on the Call of Duty stream. <laughs> um, VU Gamer Dude, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. J Gamer Luigi, yo. If they make Luigi in Origami King, I'm down down for it um <laughs> calvin bye chris i'll see you later in the discord also dm me a day where we can we can do yes yes we gotta figure that out um i have so many videos to edit but we'll figure it out edwin thank you so much for stopping in and coming in with all those puns dude those puns were awesome um nato thank you so much for subscribing i appreciate it that's Awesome, Su super awesome. Thank you so much for the support. Um, Gabriel, bye, bye Gabriel. Thank you so much for coming in, saying hi. Um, video gamer dude, bye. Please take care, wash your hands, don't touch your face. Um, LD, oh, I love you too, I love you too. Duck Dog, thank you so much for coming in. Dude, it's been awesome, I hope you had fun. 
um, did tunes. It was it was an ASMR style. <laughs> it was an a ASMR uh, stream today. <laughs> Very unique stream. We don't do this often, but I hope to do this a lot more, especially when it comes to DIYs. Um, maybe we can gather, you know, materials and then we can all do the DIY together. That's what I wanted to do today. And I hope it was everything that you guys were hoping for. <laughs> Prosterify! Thank you so much. Take care. I'll see you guys. Please stay safe. Um, take care always. Yeah, here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sergeant, and all the mods and members for always um, being there and supporting me. Seriously, Jay and I really do appreciate it, and we have we don't even have enough words to thank you guys um, enough for all that you do. But thank you. Uh, please take care. See you guys soon, hopefully, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.